It's Tuesday. You smell big titty lady? You might smell her rotting because she's dead now and yeah, she's never she... coming back. She might come back. You don't know. A vampire coming back from the dead? I doubt it. That would be a surprise, Rose. wouldn't it? Rose. Rose. Oh, that's right. We're looking for your daughter who went missing. What about Rose? What what prompted that, Ethan? Uh, I know you're trying to use the mouse right now. Would you like to turn the mouse pad horizontal so you don't have, like, only two inches to go? Uh, let's see. Because right now I have it set up for editing and I don't use the mouse that much, but uh, if I'm good at game, I normally make the mouse pad a bit more well, horizontal. Maybe. Such uncertainty of being live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live! Fuck it, we'll do it live! Yes. Can I not? Can you not? I can't go through there, but it's funny because when I... You, would you like to turn... Would you like to turn up the, um... Sensitivity on that mouse? Because... Uh, maybe... I'm taking my piss poor stream quality as a Sayo come watch this stream. Yo! What up? Uh, we're gonna turn the music back on. Because I, I realized Thanks that we had it Thanks for posting off. these on so I can watch them at work. You're welcome. I love you all. Yeah, you can still watch them if I don't. If you watch the VOD on Twitch, that's also an option. All right. You might want to turn up the uh, movement sensitivity. I think I can actually control. I, I, was, I was playing this at home. Mm-hmm. And I don't think you can actually change the mouse sensitivity. Really? Yeah. That's like one of the only things that you would need to change. I know, right? Controller lock. Scroll wheel cube in the front. Um, is it maybe under game settings? Aim assist. No. Interesting. Well, the mouse has settings. You could probably uh, increase its. Yeah, the red button right underneath the mouse wheel. That'll turn off the sensitivity. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. You, you say that, but if you want to look behind you, you have to pick up the mouse and move it all the way to the Q. side. Oh, okay. You get the cue to turn around immediately. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm glad they kept that from the classic Resident Evil games. All right, so we're going this way now. But Wait. If, you, if you want to look to your right, you still have to move the mouse twice. Uh, all right, well, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. All right. we'll, we'll try this for a little bit. Here, let's go in this building. Okay. Oh, this is where we were. Thank you, Little Fire, for the sub. Little Fire 131, because Little Fire is 1 through 130 were taken. Pick. Someone has a little thing that just says, Pick. Like I planned on streaming this game on the hardest difficulty with infinite guns, but it just didn't want to go operate. Yeah, the game can be well, a little finicky. Sometimes that happens, you know? And we still have the controller, too, if I need to switch back. I suppose that's true. Thanks to the bitch lost, Hatchet. You get the gyro jet gun if you get the hardest difficulty? <laughs> really? All right. Yeah, the gyro jet's in this game, apparently. Okay. It's called the rocket gun. You liked this game so much that you actually went out and got a copy of it yourself so you can play it at home. Yes, I did. So far, I really like it. It's strange, because I don't think it's that much better than 7, but... I think it's better than 7. All right, let's see here. Thank you for this up, Delta 3, because Deltas 1 through 2 were taken. I wonder if there's like a... No, apparently not. How are things going? Things are going great. <clears throat> I don't mind this game. I don't think it's bad. Oh, you Zach, what's up here and on the Ace 23? Opinion on the Ace 23? Is that a gun? I don't know. I guess so. <sighs> or, or, so it sounds like the name more like a attack ship or attack aircraft or something. Fish! 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 It jumped! Hey, dude, it was gonna shoot. Oh, didn't dodge that one. Nah, not as nimble fish as we thought. Hooray! Eat that fish raw. No. Maybe. Hear our voice together as one in reverence. Ah, uh, no. We call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. Who's that? Is that the, uh... It's me. I don't think that's you. Wings. And yes, this game is better than Seven because of Lady Dimitrescu. And wait the light at the end. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu, whose name I will continue to mispronounce. Cutscene. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. Yo, what up? In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. You guys are hey, keeping me awake me? again. I almost died up at that castle. Tell me, what is going on around here? Thank you, Osterreich. How can a man be almost dead? Oh, just kill her. That's a question for the wise. No, it's a question for a doctor. You know what I mean. And I still haven't found Rose. Where did Mother Miranda take her? <laughs> Stop laughing. And you're too late. Or maybe 
almost too late. Oh, you're so funny. The child will be sacrificed, life for life. What kind of sick medieval shit is this? <laughs> She's just a baby. The crests of the four bloodlines may open the path you seek. <clears throat> will you please stop talking in riddles? I just want to find my daughter. It's only a riddle if you don't know the answer. Then that still makes it a riddle, <laughs> even if you know the answer. <laughs> yeah, you tell her. Oh, look, the umbrella is sigil. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, kind of is. That looks familiar. Hey, hey, wait. You know, Ethan, you could just fire a shotgun through the door. Like, you just do this. Yeah, or... That probably would have hit her. Or have, if you had done that 20 seconds ago, she'd be dead. Hey, yeah. Zach. Are you ever going to try Escape from Tarkov? I have I tried it. I like you'd really nerd out on all the gun customization. Yeah, it's super cool, except that you literally get... You get headshotted after playing for three and a half... You load into an area, you play for three and a half seconds, and then some dude headshots you from 300 meters away with 12-gauge birdshot, and you lose your $6 million loadout that you had. So fuck that game, I'm never playing it again. <laughs> okay, strong opinions about that one. Escape from Tarkov, the only game that you pay $70 just to uninstall. Okay, I, it's not the only one, believe me. I've I've thrown my dice on a couple of them. Did you, when was the last time you played that game? Escape from Tarkov? Yeah. I don't know, probably like a year ago, and then I uninstalled it immediately after playing. I played it, I think, for like five hours. And then just uninstalled it. I hated every minute of it. Yeah, I was I was not happy with that game. <laughs> oh, brother. So, yeah, like I was saying, I was thinking about it's, this game. Someone said the learning curve is fucking sharp. It's less of a learning curve and more of a learning cliff. Yeah, as I was trying to say, I, I've been playing this... Uh, well, I haven't been playing this game, but watch you play this game. I don't know, maybe it'd be more of a scary game if we were playing by ourselves. I think the uh, you and I playing side by side makes it a little less scary or maybe, something but like that. Maybe. Oh, an open field area, alright. This thing. Have you heard of the next Genos military R? It fires a 6.8 millimeters round. Oh good, another caliber. Yeah. Hey, thank you, free communism. Free communism with every purchase. Oh, that's counterintuitive. Thank you. Mm, I don't maybe I do want free communism. Uh, can I use any of these? Nope. That pattern really looks for, looks really familiar. It's because it's the umbrella logo. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll have to put I think you, you, uh, maybe those don't have anything to do oh, with it. Oh, is there anything. a puzzle we gotta solve here now? And it looks Probably. like an automag, but isn't an automag forgot what it's called? Steak? I don't, I don't know. Um, it's probably the auto mag, because I, I looked up the guns that were in this game, and the auto mag is one of them. So I was wondering why, why is it that this game doesn't really appeal to me as much as I'd like it to? I, I like other Resident Evil games. There's a whole lot of arrows. Yeah, looks like he was uh, the result of a battlefield here. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now we got some actual bridge. combat. A bridge. Way down there. It's not the auto mag. Oh, 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 okay, we got, we had, we had we some are, lag, we had it. some lag, mm -hmm. just a little bit, again, it might just be my computer, or, you know, even if, if it is my computer, I'm still gonna hold the game at fault, because, you know, you can make your game better optimized. Well, I think your, um, I think your computer is actually graphically better than my computer. It's got a 1080 in it, uh, which was top yeah. of the line five years ago. Well, I have a 960, so yours is graphically better than my computer, but the problem is you're streaming it. Possibly, the yeah. Streaming, the streaming definitely does not help with frame rates. I suppose, I suppose. So we probably will have to stop streaming just to play the game, and then uh, you guys can just imagine what's happening. <laughs> there you go, a nice compromise. Die! Excellent. The game gets a lot better after Dimitriescu. Oh, was she the low point of the game? <laughs> Marvelous. Goat! Oh. Have you watched the video of Kentucky Ballistics Serbu exploding? Ha yes. Okay. Uh, ow. Oh. Use crank. Needs crank. Okay. So yeah, this is not my favorite Resident Evil, but you think this might be your top three at this point? Um, I don't know if I'm willing to go that far just yet, uh, but it is, so far it has been enjoyable. What do you, 
I still don't know what you like about this one compared to the previous game. What, what makes the last one not that great and this one way better? Um, because it feels almost like this could have been um, an expansion to seven. Uh, I think I like that this one has a wider range of areas you go to. There's more than just. Uh, oh, there nice. We go. There you go. There's more than just um, three bosses. Mm hmm. One of which you don't even kill. In the seven? <clears throat> in seven, but yeah, there's three bosses in seven, and one of them you don't even kill. Ah, okay. You feel a little blue balled by that one, yeah. Yeah, it's like there's the there's the dad, the mom, and then whatever his son is. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, or whatever his name is, that's the son, yeah. but like you don't even through the normal gameplay you don't even get to kill him. No, you only have to you get to kill him when you're playing the Chris DLC. Yeah. And doesn't his dad come back during the other DLC? I played I I can't remember. I didn't I just I don't know, maybe it Maybe it's literally just you like Dimitriescu? I don't know. Maybe it's that, maybe it's that I hate Louisiana and it's it just, <laughs> that has tainted that game forever for me. Hmm. I've, so far, I've, I would have said the last game was scarier than this one. I mean, the last game. So if I'm if I'm being brutally honest, the last game is basically just Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh huh. Um, and I guess I didn't like that as much. <laughs> okay. So Jeez. it's more of the aesthetic. You like the aesthetic here? I <laughs> really like the aesthetic of this game. Okay, I can understand that. It reminds that. me of both Resident Evil Four and Bloodborne. All right. Yeah. Th yeah. The Bloodborne aesthetic really does it for you. It, yeah. re it reminds you of a better game, so that's why you like it. I get it. All right. Oh, another cutscene? Oh. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. How do you move around so fast? It was all worthless. Is that ah, so? Yes, the will, the auto I assume you picked what up something called. of value. Chambered in point four Not seven sure five will be. But also Jack Baker. I got Margarita a candle. Baker, I, and you Pancho have your daughter Baker right in your own hands. What? What are you saying? Take a closer look. That's not a candle after all. Head. <laughs> Head. <laughs> so. <laughs> eh. Wow. Rosemary head. Oh. Oh. You probably that don't want to drop it. Seems to contain her head. Um. Okay. <laughs> so no head. No. So, roses. Don't say another word. Okay. Hoorah, rose is a jar head. <laughs> this, this is impossible. This so she's just dead can't already. Be. Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Oh, they killed her to decapitate her to take the powers from her. There you go. Who, who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. Oh, saved dang it. From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Well, I guess we're probably heading we'll in the right direction the now. Oh. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point. You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? Yeah, why don't we just pour some of the... Hey, why don't we just do pour some of the stuff ruby. on her? Your and choice. then she'll just grow the body back. The I, I don't know. is always right. After all, I absolutely love this game. Do you? All right. He'll tear you if I find out this is a lie. <laughs> well, I didn't do nothing. Uh, that guy's got joke. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> your oh, daughter. Oh, by the way, I want to buy some stuff. Some stuff from you. Well, your daughter's head is in a candle. Ha <laughs> ha. So, you got any good guns? Do you I have like guns. I can now offer an expanded weapon modification service. Mmm, cheek rest. Uh, oh, pipe bomb. I thought that was a syringe. <laughs> uh, hair trigger. Oh, you can you confuse the syringe with a pipe bomb. You're gonna be the worst doctor. Yep. Also Dude. the worst IUD de detonator. Yeah, that is also true. The guns. Oh, I can upgrade it even further now. There you go. Oh, uh, we don't have another Lee. Yay. Well, you, you do. I can upgrade you do. power. I'm, right. I'm gonna hold off though. Um. You're shutting work at the gun shop to watch this? How dare you? Come on, upgrade the power. No. Power. Not yet. More power! Not yet. Um, we're gonna sell this crystal skull. I'm gonna keep that one because I like it. We've got to have 
more cannot be eaten. power. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> cannot be eaten as is the fish. Oh, you can't eat raw fish? Filling often fills the purse. You gotta go find a campfire. Say. I cannot eat the I fish. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Can I, can I shoot you? I... I don't know. I can't but, save right now. So. It's, it's a, it, maybe it's a, if you put like Resident Evil 4, if you shoot the vendor, you don't get to do any vending anymore. Hmm. Crest of four wings. Apparently Duke can hook, cook for you. Can he? I don't, I don't know. Is there like a workbench here, like a, a fire? Oh, I can save right here. Oh, don't forget to save. Yeah, that's important. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, nope. Can't shoot him. Mm -hmm. I have an idea though. I want to try something. Okay. Do I still have? <laughs> I don't have a pipe bomb or a landmine. Damn it. Okay. And oh, I was gonna try and blow him up, but that's not an option. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't do anything with that either. It just says it looks like something could fit this. Later in the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Duke probably just eats the raw fish. Ah. Doctor Zank. All right, nurse. Here's the syringe. Give the patient his shot. Nurse. Um, Doctor, this is not a syringe. This is a pipe bomb. Common mistake. Doctor Zank. Well, she. Boom. Oopsie doopsie. I found the source of the ticking. It's a pipe bomb. This is what. This is why malpractice insurance exists. I unlocked it. I found a gate. I think I don't like this one as much because the characters aren't as good. Like the game has to be carried for me. A lot of the games have to be carried by their protagonists or antagonists. What do, you, what do you mean the characters aren't as good? Well, Ethan's a blank slate. He's got no personality. He was a blank slate in the last one too. That's true. But in the last game, I, I found the dad to be a pretty cool personality. I got a crow. There were so many fun, crazy moments where he just go crazy, shoot himself in the head and go insane. Ooh, a goat. This one, yeah, there you go. Nice eye. Nah, I can hit it with a pistol. This one, Dimitriescu's not doing it for me, and all the other ones are kind of forgettable so far. What do you mean she's not doing it for you? Well, she's dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. She gone. She doesn't do it for me like she does for you, honestly. Mm. How do you get in there? Mm. Uh, probably eventually we'll get in there. All right, so let's see. There were some gates that we couldn't get to. This room has... I want to go all the way back to the beginning if I can. Mm-hmm. Beginning area because there was a, a thing with a lockpick in it. Mm -hmm. So Zach, I figured it out. It was a Wildy point four seven five auto mag. Also in order of appearance in re seven, it's Jack Baker, Margarita Baker, and Pancho Baker. Pancho? Who the hell is Pancho? <laughs> Pancho can't be his name. Who is Pancho Baker? Unless it's like his real name, and he was just going by Jimmy Jims. Who is Pancho? <laughs> <laughs> that last name may have been a lie. Um, okay. What's, uh, what's going on here? We haven't been in this house before. No, not yet. <clears throat> so I don't know why I can get in here now. Just poke around, see if you can find some supplies. Ooh, some maple syrup. That'll keep me going on the road. I do love maple syrup. Wait, where's the maple syrup? It's somewhere around here. Mm, you said you saw it. No, I'm just pretending like it's a long dark, that's all. I heard a scream from the house with the chimney. Oh, his name is Father. I heard a scream from the house with the chimney. I was going to take a look, but the way was blocked by debris. Going to have to take the long way around. Who would have thought the hole in the stable walls would come in handy? Mm. I call all forgettable characters Pancho. <laughs> Pancho. Ah, good idea. If I'm not back by morning, you should go to Louise's house alone. Do it. Right? Do it now. Uh, can we... Uh, Zero, we're going to be stealing that one. From now on, we're just going to call all have forgettable characters Pancho. playing Armor Pancho. 3? Yeah, people have asked us about Armor 3 before, but no, nah, it's not really the kind of game I've played before. I don't really want to spend seven and a half hours learning how to learning how to program. <laughs> learning how to get shot. Oh yeah, Armor is a bit more technical too. Don't you have to like? It's it can be very technical. Mm. No, I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna play Armor 3 ever. I'll just watch Soviet Wumble's videos on it. Yeah, yes, Let's do it. <laughs> hey, you got a raw too. Oh, it's, uh, another. I destroyed. It was a uh, part of the. It was part of a like a goat. I know you got to find the head, then assemble it, then shoot it to break it apart and get it when we're done. Well, that there wasn't a whole lot in that house, was there? Yeah, what? Well, yeah, half a goat. Found half on half a goat. Half a goat. Half a goat is still half a goat. So I, I noticed you've gone back to using the controller instead of the mouse keyboard. Yeah, I think it'll just be a little bit easier. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. This might be a little bit easier. Easier for people to watch or you to play? I guess. I don't, I don't man, I'm dumb as hell. Okay. 
I'm just asking why you decided would you prefer why you had that preference. I I would prefer to use mouse and keyboard, but we don't really have enough room, I think. You don't? Oh, because my, my mouse pad's too small, you think? Yeah. You know, slide that out of the way. I don't have a gaming <laughs> that mouse pad is from 1995. Mouse pads have gotten a bit bigger yeah, since it's then. It's got like it's got like the World Wide Web on it, <laughs> which got... nobody refers to it as that. It's got the Looney Tunes characters on it, pre Space Jam. Yeah. Let's talk about fishing in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Its fishing mini game is better than Bass Pro games. I do believe we already discussed that. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. I think. Did we? Yeah. This is. There's the goat head! Put it on the statue! No, that's not the goat head. That is a goat head, but it's not the goat head. Eh, close enough, right? It looks like this head itself was trying to escape. <laughs> like, yeah. look at this. The wire is all frayed and everything. He wanted to escape, but he couldn't because he was tied to it, so he shoot his way through his own neck. <laughs> I, maybe. Oh, uh, okay, so I hear, I hear scary noise. The enemies here aren't all that scary. So far, not really. The enemies are just kind of laughably. I mean, this is the kind of thing. Oh, they were smoking meats. Okay, okay. I want some smoked meats. Pretty tasty, yeah, sure. A kitty cat follows you if you have your fishing pole out. Uh, that is true, and it's adorable. Uh, it's locked from the other side. Uh, the note said something about a hole in the fence, I do love though. to see Zach play horseshoes, hot dogs, and hand grenades. It's pretty much just VR gun range, but funnier. You ha you've uh, played that. Well, you haven't played that have before, have you? I'm familiar with it. I haven't played it because I don't own a VR headset. That's true, but I'm sure if you did own a VR headset, that'd be the first game you'd buy because it's got you just look at guns. It's the, look at Gun Simulator. Well, it's not look at Gun Simulator. It's use Gun Simulator. That's true, too. Can you disassemble guns in that game? I don't know. I'm sure there's probably a mod for that. I'm sure. Oh, okay. All right. So this is where we came from. Let's check the map again. When will the next Pikmin stream be? Maybe on Friday. Who knows? Never. <clears throat> Actually, I might be uh, spending time with my dad on Friday. So I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe a little bit tomorrow. Hmm? Maybe, a bit, maybe tomorrow. Because I don't, I don't have to, I don't, I'd have to work tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow. I think there was something in the, yeah, there's a there's a drawer I can open in this house. So let's do, no, no, I want to save the lock pick for the first house in this area. So let's try and find our way back there. Okay. If I can remember how to get there. Um, I think that is blocked off. How has y'all's day been? Our day's been going great. Thanks for asking. Miserable, I want to die. You worked at your job that you like so much. Hello, my name's Zero. I'll be your navigator. You may call me Zevi. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I had a oh, great... is it Zero or Poncho? Um, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. Oh, you're a forgettable character. <laughs> Zay. Oh, is Poncho now an insult? Don't be such a Poncho. No, Poncho is just what you call forgettable characters. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I can. I. <clears throat> Woo, no. You surprised me. You blended in. Yeah, you look like gross, just like the rest of this village. It's all gross. Yeah, my day was doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Oh, I'm nice. Better than this guy's day, right? Take his. Be you, yeah, better than his day. You got shot and you robbed him. Dead guy in the bathroom. Can't take money from that one. All right, all right so we are on the right path right yeah. now. The correct path? Or um, the... This, I could probably move this somehow. Use crank. Use the crank key. Put your daughter's head on that. Put my daughter's head on it. Kind of dark. Turn on your flashlight. I can't. Wait, you don't have a flashlight? I have one. I just can't turn it on and off at will. Ugh. It's the same thing in Resident Evil 2. Mm. The funny thing about Tarkov is that you can put five Beck 15 laser sights on World War II era Mosin Nagat and make it have no stock and have an eight inch bar. Do you want to do that? I'm sorry, I heard stop production on the PP2000. Stop production? P I don't know. Oh, no, Zero, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zero. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't mean it. Do you do some game commentary in your dick good voice, please? I don't know what you're talking about. We have we found have a winch. Uh, the door is locked from the other side, so Dick Good will proceed this way into the area where they keep the hay covered in blood, which ah. is different from this building where they keep the hay that isn't You're lucky covered it's in already blood. done. Oh, yes, yeah, the blood hay, of course, my favorite. <clears throat> this is, that one is just filled with garbage. 
This right here is the first house we went into, so Dick Good will go this way and eventually make his way into the house that- Oh, for fuck's sake. Road's blocked. Pool's closed. Everyone go home. All right, let's go visit the chickens. Sure. Pet the chickens, maybe? I can't visit the chickens that way. Maybe this way. Okay. Where were the chickens? Oh, here we go. Look up while in the barn. Look up while in the barn? Oh, is there something inside the barn? No, you can't make me, says Dick. <clears throat> we're a pig. We can't look up. Oh, look at that. Zach, have you seen the 33 round flush fit glock? Ha! AKA the BBG. Uh. No. I mean, I don't know. Probably. Who, who keeps shotgun shells in a birdcage in a barn? I have no idea, but somebody does. Alright, well, their loss is our game. <laughs> oh, goodness, that's too many numbers. I'm oh, not going to do that. How many numbers is it? Six numbers? Oh. Uh, what the hell is that? I don't know. A massive... Look, look out. Look out the wind... Which, um, which window? I really don't want to... Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh, God, come on. <laughs> you got me. Ah! Uh, funny. Clever. Clever, clever, clever. Funny little not quite a jump scar. Yeah, there you go. That was, okay, credit where it's due, that was actually clever. Uh, but my follow-up question is, why do they have a jet engine? <laughs> uh, a jet must have crashed somewhere near here and they scrapped it for parts. I'm guessing. Alright, well, so we got, there's a seven, there's an eight. Oh, you gotta line that up, do you? I think so. So, see, it was like... Seven, four, eight. Oh, seven, oh, four, oh, eight. I'm guessing. I think. Oh, seven, oh, four, oh, eight, you dweebs. Yeah, we can figure that out. Oh, stop backseating! I figured it out first. Mm-hmm. That, that, they could have just stayed on zero on that one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you for the five gifted subs, Dante997. Thank you very much. Tier, tier two subs, too. Fancy. Hoo-hoo. It's a Glock 26 that has, has the grip extended, so a 33-round mag will fit flush. That sounds awful. We say seven, four, eight, yeah. I think so. One, zero, nine, eight. Yay! Ooh! Ooh. A Beretta M92. Ooh. Ooh. Guess who's not using the starting pistol anymore? You found a Beretta M92F. It, no, but the Beretta M92F did replace this gun in military service. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I don't think I'm using the starting pistol anymore. All right. What is, th what is that though? I'm sure we'll figure that out eventually. A mass of chains, hooks, and organs, that's all. Someone suggested to check the description of the gun. Stop backseating! They suggested you should check it. The, it's, that's not really backseating, it's just saying check out the back... The... There are... Oh, goodness, that guy looks like he's been My somewhat modified. My car said its name. So we're just gonna ignore all that screaming and... Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll, let's, let's take a look. Examine gun. A comfort, comfortable, fully automatic handgun. Hold uh, down the fire. Hold down the trigger to fire a continuous string of bullets. Uh, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> but okay. You, is, it a, is it a fully automatic M1911? Who converted this thing to full auto? What <laughs> maniac thought that was a good idea? Well, I had this M1911 and I got this spare jet engine lying around. I figured I'll make some adjustments. Yeah, Bubba got his hands on this gun and I kind of fucking ruined it. <laughs> also, for some reason, the safety lever is blued, but the rest of the gun is parkerized. I don't... I mean, it's literally blued. It does look pretty cool. You, like, blue anodized it. I'm not saying that's bad, but... It's sharp. It can't, it's eye-catching. All right, well, how much... Okay, well, before we go into this firefight, how much does... Let's see. It's difficult to remember actual gun names for fully some people. Fully semi-automatic. Yes, it's fully semi-automatic. <laughs> uh... This is... Okay, so it's 9mm, and then this one does 140 damage. Is this... What caliber is this one? 9mm, nine, nine it should be, right? It's using generic pistol ammo. Oh, like all okay, guns yeah, do. so it's using the 9mm pistol ammo. John Dillinger, that's who. Uh oh what's behind you? There's nothing behind me. I heard something snarling around you. It's probably this guy. 
Oh, well, you know what? Hang on. You know, He's just gonna sit there politely. They're just sitting on the roof. You can ignore them, right? No. Okay, that's one down. Oh, and that alerted him with your position. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. Come. There we go. Nice. Finally. Uh-huh. Yeah, yep. I was gonna say, it sounded like these guys are close. <clears throat> oh, him. And then they're just running around. Pop them a couple times. Just a little pop. There you go. And then you rob them because you're an asshole. Yeah. Uh, no, not an asshole. I find it funny that they made this gun in 9mm, but then they had it have the actual ammo capacity of a 1911, which is seven rounds. Okay. Mmm, that needs a, a well crank. Alright, so... Still need the well crank. We have the 1911. Okay. Which is very nice. You, you have to put it in the gun slot to get uh, another door to drop or something. No, what? You know, you, you kind of like how in Code Veronica you had to put the guns in the wall to get the golden guns, which you needed to to progress that. Oh, this seems safe. Yeah, let me just climb <laughs> under here. Uh, do, uh, you guys, you guys do know that it's an OSHA violation to leave this suspended on a jack without putting it on jack stands, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, safety is high priority around here. You're gonna, it's actually gonna come down on you. No? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> yup. And, and, Did I just get cut in half? Just put no, some... No, I don't see my legs back there, so it's fine. <sighs> just pour some chem fluid on it. That'll make everything good, right? Yeah. Chem fluid fixes everything. You know, considering all the times you've had your hand lopped off, and you're just like, oh, just spray some magic fluid on it, it'll be fine. You know, they, like, eventually they're gonna up the ante, and you are gonna get bisected, and you have to fix it like that. That sounds awful, I don't <laughs> want that. Scoop your entrails inside, start pouring chem fluid on your stomach. Ugh. Ugh. No thank you. Ugh. Who ran this hose? This hose wasn't here originally. Hmm. Was it? Was this hose here? Zach, you were in the military, OSHA doesn't apply to you. Fortunately, it does. I wish it does. Oh, hello. The oh. cat carrier your room. We were here. I remember. Oh, oh piggy. Was piggy here before? <laughs> ah! Oh, feral pig. Oh, I, oh, I got it. Give these to Duke. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey. I, I'm sorry, piggy. I didn't mean to kill you, but you also you rushed me, and don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you. That's a fast pig. Thank you, Reaper Hound 762, for subbing. Because Reaper Hounds 1 through 761 were taken. Okay, so there is, in this building... Are we gathering one of every dead animal's meats? We got some... We got some pork. Are we gonna make that dish that is like... It's... It's a dish that they made in, like, France or something, where they would take a baby... A baby bird, and they would drown it in liquor. What? No, they right. would, like, drown it in wine, and then cook it. And then you were supposed to eat it under a shroud to hide your sin from God. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's it's kind of horrifying. Finally, I can open this one that was the one I wanted to open at the beginning of the game, and now I can open it. What's in it? What's it gonna be? Sniper rifle ammo. All right, back. I'll take that. Hey, thank you, Dante Knight ninety seven, for six more months of subbing it tier two. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dante. So, I don't think we talked about this last time, but um, you're gonna be moving soon and you cleared out your basement. Yes, I did. And we found a bunch of things that were really cool that you were gonna get rid of, and I kept a lot of them. I, you say really cool, I say American nightmarish and horrible. Whole episode about it. You had figurines, you had all your old drawings, all your old <sighs> stories, all these great things from your past, you're just gonna dump it all. Yeah, I don't, cause nobody should ever Nobody should ever be allowed to read stuff that I wrote in high school. Yeah, in, in fact, before you gave them to me, you said, You're, I'm not allowed to read any of these stories on a stream or anything. Yeah. And I promised I wouldn't. But you didn't say that I couldn't record them and upload them to YouTube. Don't you do that either. <laughs> oh, dang it. Thought I'd found a loophole. You do that, and we're never recording anything again. <laughs> dang it. Oh. No, they're real bad. It's like, it, it's, I, oh, man. It's real bad. <laughs> They're, they're such bad stories. No one should ever be forced to read them. I, no, I, I think you give your, I, you're, you're always your harshest critic on these, these, these things. Hi, how you doing? Oh boy. How's it going? Oh boy. Yeah, that guy's got a giant uh, ham with spikes sticking out of it. You want to take care of it? Oh God, that was close. You're cutting close. You almost, you almost got injured there. You'd have to- It's all right, I know what I'm doing. Put some chem fluid on your face. You can probably just ignore that one, just like fast where the needle, just like, run away from the enemies. For centuries, nope. the rite of passage for French gourmets was the eating of the ortolan. These tiny birds, captured alive, 
force fed, then drowned in almond yak, or roasted whole and eaten that way, bones and all, Aww. while the diner draped his head with a linen napkin to preserve the precious aromas and, some believe, to hide from God. <laughs> I don't want God to see me eating this bird. <laughs> hey, Zach, do you mind telling me what you did to Zach with a K? He never existed. He was an illusion! An illusion. I can just simulate Zach, yeah, if he, if he doesn't have to record me anymore, I can just read the stories and it'll be like, he's actually here, huh? Oh, man, they're real, they're real bad. You were really proud of him 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago when I had a, when my brain was still forming and I didn't understand what words were. Yeah, now it's or, decaying, so. Or how to behave like a normal human being. <laughs> um, are there more coming? Oh, well, yeah, there are. So is this thing actually fully automatic? Yeah, it yeah, is. It is. Why would you do that though? You controlled burst might be Oh god! Better for you anyway! Well that was a controlled burst, kind of. Exactly. Or you know, making sure your fingers single shots here and here and there. <clears throat> yeah, get right up and close burst, see what happens. Alright. See, I'm doing okay. Yeah. So so far the only real downside I've seen to this pistol, it does way more damage, but the only real downside I've seen so far is that it uh give me that skull. Is that it, um, limited ammo capacity. All right. How's it going, buddy? How's it going, buddy? Oh, oh, what the fuck are you? That's new. It's the king. Oh, jeez Louise. That's Papa like a, cheese. a regular Eddie, but he's got gauntlets and uh, a mask on. All right, all right. Do and, I have. Do oh, good, he's gone. He's gone. It's do fine. I have explosive weapons? No, I don't. Um, Zach, what I, I know what you did in Port Lock, Alaska in 1978. I've never been in you Alaska. Bastard. Hey, thank you for the sub, S Stream 96. Thank you very much. Zombie Sauron, that's it. That's what I'm looking at, yeah. Yes, it's a zombie Sauron. That's exactly he right. He wants the one ring. <clears throat> He's going to put it on one of his... Oh, I knocked fingers. his helmet off. I knocked his helmet off. <laughs> now he's a regular enemy with gauntlets. Haha. <laughs> no, I don't want... I, I, no, I'm not bringing a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> oh, oh it's, it's not really a gunfight. He's got gauntlets. It's not quite the same as gun. I'm not bringing a knife to a knife fight. I'm bringing a gun to a knife fight. Oh. Ow, God, that's through my chest, you bastard. Uh, if only you hadn't missed that shot there. All right, you, you can take him out, though. <clears throat> I also, yeah, one of the other things that I grabbed for you was a bunch of um, old notepads, and there were a lot of drawings. You had like five notepads full of drawings. Those are also terrible, and no one should ever see them. They're pretty good. I mean, they're no, they're terrible, and no one should ever see them. Are you dead? Are you dead? It's a perfect crystal skull. It's a perfect skull. <laughs> they were, oh, they're a lot better than what I can draw right now. I, they're still terrible. Yeah. They're still terrible. You do this, the classic thing that all high schoolers do, which is, oh, I'm going to draw this person with their hands behind their back, so I have to learn how to draw hands. That's what everybody does when they're first started, when they're first starting with art. Yep. Or they just draw terrible hands. That's what I did. Yeah, my... Man, it... I would... Oh, I could have grabbed this pipe bomb that entire time. That would have been helpful. Your, your drawings are nice. A lot of them are cute, and... I... Uh... And the ones that are just very simple, I think, are really great. I still I, have that bumper sticker with the drawing you made. The one that you, uh, a guy holding an AK or something, that says, "Your my honors or my school my student hasn't shot anybody up at school yet," which is a, a much more appropriate joke ten years ago. Now it yeah, it, it, now it's not really appropriate anymore. No. All right, I'm not going in here yet. We're actually we're gonna avoid that for right now. We're gonna go visit the chicken. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think you can draw better now, or do you think that that's the, the peak I mean, of your talent? And that's... Maybe I could draw better now, but the... where's the chicken? You should do a drawing stream. I think a lot of people would be interested in that. I don't want anyone to ever see the drawings that I've done. Well, I said that's why you should do a drawing stream, so you can do something in real life. I'm ashamed of my own of my own artwork. I know, Frank! but you shouldn't be because it's awesome. No, it's terrible. Mm. I'm a terrible artist, and my artwork is awful, and no one should ever be forced to see it. Curses. I wish you weren't so self-depreciating. Did we miss a crank down there? Ah, oh, whatever. I could do a drawing suggestion stream, except that it would be terrible and everyone would be like incredibly disappointed and mad at me for attempting to draw things. Okay, I think there's only one solution here. I hear chicken! Chicken! The chicken, 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 chicken! The solution that we have here is, is that I will do a drawing stream and chicken, it will chicken, be chicken. so bad 
Now that Zach will feel compelled to one up me because it's like something he can do better than I can. Chick, 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 I will draw chick, terribly to show him that it's okay. Chick, 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 chick. Chickens. Chick, 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 chick. I can't draw chickens, but that's not gonna stop me. Good chickens. Remember that one time you caught it, you grabbed a chicken, and you picked it up? Yeah, I've picked up chickens several times. A large crystal. Cool. And you were getting rid of your loop on the third figurines. What up, man? You gonna get rid of Dice K Jigen and loop on the third? No, no, no. I, Cause I, they were, they were sitting in my basement. They'd been down there for at least five years. So clearly I must not have missed them if they had been gone for that long. I found a power cord. How ironic is it that I'm the one trying to hold on to things that you're trying to get rid of? Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> want any of them. Uh-huh. Um, and you were even getting rid of your perfectly good hentai. <laughs> I also forgot that was even down there. Oh boy, this might not be good. All right. Oh no, he's fine. This guy's fine. I can kill this guy easy. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you might, he was trying to go to bed and eat that woman. Oh, okay, he's not done yet. Whoa! Problem solved. Ow. Oh. You also had a couple of CDs that I'm not sure what's on them. I'm afraid to check them out on my computer because it might mess up my hard drive. I don't think so. I think they're just like movies or something. Uh, okay. And no, I don't draw a hentai. It's just, it's hentai. It's art, mom! Man, you are do you are doing me real dirty on this stream. Am I? Just talking about talking about all this embarrassing stuff that I've drawn. I think it's not embarrassing unless you make it embarrassing. Your drawings are cool. I don't think so. Yeah, you're I think they're lame. Your drawings vary from cool to awesome. Chick 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 Man, this is great. I'm just gonna follow this chicken around for a while, see where he goes. Alright. Ah, it's stuck. Uh, well, I guess she. See where she goes. It. Make a short video of Shape of the Bray. Eventually we'll do that, sure. Is this a Rhode Island Red? Uh, it's a chicken. I don't know, are you familiar with chicken breeds? A little say? bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, all right, well, we can just chase around if you want to. It's not gonna progress the game or anything, but. It's not a, it's not a cock, it's a chicken. Games, games are all about you having fun. So you, if you, if chasing your chicken for for twenty minutes is what you want to do. Oh, that one's white ones. That's this one. This one's the cock. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> oh no, he's dead. Poultry. Now who's gonna wake me up in the morning? Oh, now I'm gonna sleep in until noon every day. So mean. So mean. Zach, you shot your cock because you left your gun in your pants and not really holstered properly. Oh no, the horror. I do feel a little bit bad about doing that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I don't like killing animals in video games. Mm. Oh, oh. What's in here? Oh, is it another? Uh, wooden animal. Hey! I'm guessing oh. that's an optional objective. Oh, oh it's not a one-time use item. Oh, are you putting that in the display? Let's see. Does Zach ever shot Woo! elephant gun? No. Yeah, you got a little thing. Nice. Oh man, I wanna I wanna make one of these. Oh, all right. I need to learn how to carve stuff out of wood so I can make one. Does that mean you're gonna put that one in the chair the the first supply the first chest where you found one and that where is that where it goes? I don't know, maybe. I'm mm. not sure. I think it might just be a thing that you sell. It's super cute though. Alright. I want one in real life. Alright, alright. Very valuable. A wooden figure of a goat. Looks like it was used in rituals. All right. Perpetual motion goat. Sure. Like the other ones that just keep moving over and over, those are perpetual motion goats. And this house, we obey the laws of thermo thermodynamics, Zach. So no. Uh, maybe in this house, but not in not in my house. Mm -hmm. All right, this way. I probably need to go buy more ammo though, or make more ammo. I think I could make ammo. You love killing animals. That's a that's the side of the McDonald's triad. I don't love killing animals. Oh, they said they did. <laughs> oh, Jake said he did. Yeah, no, you, you, no. Go see a therapist. Yeah, go talk to somebody about your problems. Zach, have you ever thought about going to a therapist? Yes, I have. Have you actually gone to it or have you thought about yes, it? Yes, I have. You've gone to a therapist? Yes. Uh, was that before or after you served? Why is this gate locked now? Good question. Use the, oh, smash the, the statuette and it would open it. What smash what statue? The goat statue you just made. Just smash I can't it. smash it. I can only sell it. Mm, oh, it's just an optional treasure then. 
Hmm. Was it a VA therapist? Was it free? Yes, it was at it was at Veterans Affairs. Ah, I see. Was I didn't get much out of it, unfortunately, That's... because they were just instead of actually being like, oh, uh, here I. What I wanted was to talk to somebody about my problems, and what I got instead was suggestions on how to, I don't know, like, problem-solving things. And I'm like, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. I didn't want solutions. I just wanted to talk. Okay. You, you, like, you just wanted to rant and rave, get things off your chest? Uh, not rant and rave. I just wanted to talk about some of the problems that I was facing on a daily basis. And, okay. You know... It kind of was like, well, here's how, here's how you calm down, and here's how you do this. And I was like, nah. Nah. Yeah, well, a lot of therapists, there's a wide variety of therapists out there. I'm going to a pretty good one right now, so maybe you should look around and see if you can find a nice one. Yeah, but then I have to pay for it. Yeah, uh, that's true. I have to pay for my sessions too, but it's mostly covered by insurance. <clears throat> Excuse you. You're a you. Yeah, there you go. Mm. I, yeah, I, it's like 20 bucks a session for me, so it's pretty cheap by, by comparison. I'm not getting a lot out of it right now, but I, I was always pretty on top of the world anyway, so. It's just more of a thing I'm trying out for now. He, he's uh, very good at listening, and he encourages me to do better, so. It's not bad. I don't know, I probably should go to one, but I also don't want to pay for it, because I'm cheap. Would you like me to pay for it? No. Well, what if I did anyway? What if I gave you an early birthday present? No. I'm not going to therapy. This is my therapy, is shooting this dude. I'm not gonna actually do that. Why does this have, are those Ameriglow sights? No, it's a, it's a Cuban cigar. What are you talking about? How do you get a Cuban cigar here? Uh, oh, you'd be surprised if you can get your hands on in the village. Naturally. How is Duke that large? Uh, chicken nuggets. <laughs> you know how sometimes I ask if you want 10 or 20? He didn't say a number, he just said yes. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications. I right, will we'll sell do large crystal. We'll fee. sell the crystal skulls. Sell all that garbage. Sell the perfect crypt crystal skull. We'll keep Crystal Dimitriescu and we'll keep the wooden goat. All right, all right. As always, a trustworthy, fair exchange. I want to keep those two. Um, oh, I can give you... Wait, how do I give Pay these things no to you? Mind. Give him the chicken meat. He'll give you real meat. In do I have to sell them to him? Is that how that works? I don't know. I feel stupid. Yeah, some of the this toys that were uh, you were getting rid of that I grabbed from you before you got rid of them, they were still in their shrink wrap. You never took them out of the package. Don't sell the meat. Don't sell the meat. Well, you are able to I cook later on. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. You say, uh, you say you don't want people to backseat game, but then you keep on looking over here for advice. Is that Morgan Spurlock? Is that an insult? I don't know who Morgan Spurlock is. I don't is. know who. I don't know who Morgan Spurlock. But he's is. definitely zinged now. Ouch. You Burn. Wish to make a purchase. I could sell the pistol though. Um, we can sell the Lemmy. Yeah, it, you think it's kind of lame here, so you can get rid of it. Um, we spend all that effort upgrading it. You're just gonna get rid of it? Oh, boo hoo! Or get rid of it, whatever. Hmm. Trying to decide if I should sell the Lamy. Why would you keep it when you've got the M1911? Yeah, why would I keep it? Yeah. The 1911 is better. Go ahead and get rid of it. You don't need two handguns to do the exact same thing with the, with the exact same yeah. ammo. We're gonna sell. We're gonna sell the Lemmy. All right. Sounds good to me. I can store it? How do you store it? Oh, you want to put it away in one of my many folds? John. Very well. Used to be alive. Goodness. Morgan Spurlock is a star from Super Size Me. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. How I gotcha. How the hell do I store stuff? Just drop it on the ground and come back to it later? Or just leave it in your inventory? Technically in storage. Mm hmm. Oh, I can just buy it back later? Well then, yeah, fuck it. Well, you're not even gonna use it, but whatever. Sure, just get rid of it. Yeah. You no longer need this? Yeah, I don't need it anymore. But that was my mother's gun! And now upgrade everything else. All right, so now we upgrade the 1911. Yes, power. Leave this to me. More power. Upgrade rate of fire. Upgrade the power of everything else too, don't forget. Upgrade reload speed. You forgot to upgrade your shotgun all the way. I'm going to. Can be done in just a moment. Upgrade ammo capacity. Oh, so now it's the actual correct capacity for a 9mm 1911. 
Yeah, and it's the fully automatic, which is the correct capacity as well. Um, we will upgrade... Power! Power! Power, power, power. Technically, I don't think this thing can hold more than five rounds, so I'm not <laughs> going to upgrade that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to give this thing more ammo that it can canonically hold in real life. Yeah, exactly. I do weird stuff like that, man. <laughs> weird quirks that you do in your video games. Yeah, it's like, well, this gun would never be able to hold more than five rounds, so that's what it's staying at. All right. What do you got an extended capacity magazine for uh, your shotgun? That would require <laughs> replacing the entire magazine tube. Yeah. He's got a spare magazine tube lying around. Does he, though? Yeah. <laughs> Does he, though? And it would change the appearance of it. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, Virgil is possessing you. All right. If you say so. Tim Allen on home improvement. More power! So upgrade more power. Why haven't you upgraded your power yet? Do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go. Upgrade the weapon. All right, come on, let's quick crack a lack and let's stop looking at this gun. I know you like guns, but I want to, uh, let's see if we can progress and change my opinion on this game because I'm still fairly ambivalent on it. It's not a game that I hate, but it's not a game I'm going to remember once we're done with it. At least it's how it's seeming right now. All right, let's see if the game can change my opinion. I'm giving it a, um, more of an opportunity to impress me. All right, so the 1911 is fully upgraded. Goods is more important than anything. I can learn how to make pipe bombs. Anything. I can learn how to make landmines. I can buy ammo, buy ammo. I can upgrade the trigger for the shotgun. Oh, I can just buy it back, and it's whatever the upgrades were at. That's pretty cool. Nice. Um, but you have to buy it back for double the price. Reduces weapon sway while aiming. There you go. I'm into that. I saw you eyeing. All right. The F2 rifle has been upgraded. You get a cheek rest. Nice. All right. All right, let's get going. And now we will save. Again. Tick, 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 tick. You tick, know what? Tick, tick. I'm gonna sell these two items. You know, well, okay, hang ah, on. Yes. Ah, yes. you're back. It's been a while. Like a it's whole been a whole five five five. Five. No, I don't want to sell that. I'm gonna keep the wooden goat because I love it, but we'll sell Dimitriescu. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh Lady Dimitriescu. Beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. Yes, I can tell you've got enough waistline for the two of you. So, you wouldn't happen to have any raw fish, would you? I do have a craving for sushi. We'll keep the a fish. Deal, the if fish I are mine. So myself. All right, so now we have plenty of money. All right, let's start sprinting. Speed run, Zach. Oh, I gotta move stuff around. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. No, no, we'll just uh, inventory organization. Inventory management is important, Mike. Yeah. Inventory, organization, simulation, management. Inventory management is important, Mike! With Lady Dimitriescu gone from the game and also gone from your inventory, I guess it's the last we're ever gonna see of her. Uh, it will be, but we have the wooden goat. No, oh, you know, it's just as good. The wooden goat is better than Lady Dimitriescu because it's cute. Yes, and it hasn't tried to kill you yet. Yes, exactly. The wooden goat is amazing. Hasn't tried to stick its three daughters on you. No, the wooden goat is the best. All right. But it is very valuable. He might want one. No, I'm keeping Wooden Goat for now. He's gonna be very impressed. We will see what happens later. All right, so what are we doing right now? Right you, now- You tell me, you're the one playing the game, right? Right now, we need to, let's just keep exploring the village because I think there's some more stuff. I need the four key. There's stuff in that church, apparently. Apparently, yeah, apparently there's stuff in this church over here. Whatever you're missing, go find it. That's all. How do I feel about dolls? Like, what do you mean, dolls? Like, what, like, American Girl dolls? They're kind of creepy. But, like, what of it? Ah, ah, ha, 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 I saw that as we walked in. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> when did this stuff get here? Satanic ritual. Also, you know, computer laptop. Uh, let's see. Recorded by NH. Who could NH be? Uh... Uh... Niss Headfield. Yes. Nary, he Nary Hesker. Yes. Arrived at... Arrived at site. No sign of EW or RW. 1210. Infiltrated village. Engaged with a number of bioweapons. Found evidence of EW. RW Ew. location unknown. So RW is obviously your daughter and EW is... It's me. Oh, okay. Ethan Wynn. Uh, yeah. 1310. Established base and church. Plan of operation. LBTDK9. Search laboratory. 
NHUE, analyze mold samples. Alpha, infiltrate, infiltrate factory. Oh yes, did the mold become these people? The mold, are they infected by the mold? It's kind of a different strain. Maybe. Which is why they're not actual mold creatures this time around. Who knows? It could be anything, Mike. Was that everything? That's everything in the church. Okay. All right, moving on. Moving on up. <laughs> Noticed a small crystal, but completely missed the huge desktop laptop setup. Oh, was that? Ah, uh, that's, that's that. I can move that in front of it. Also, I did not realize this before, but you can shoot bags of flour to make a smoke screen. Oh, does it actually work against the enemies, though? Yes. Does it? Yep. It doesn't seem like it would be a lot of uh, a lot of effectiveness there. Well, but. it's not super effective, but it does work. <laughs> oh, there's flour in my eyes! No! <laughs> I mean, have so throw flour into your eyes, see what happens. What you if won't the, like it. What if that was the vampire's weakness? Instead of onions or garlic, or whatever, it was flour. So you oh, shot you the bag flour of flour on them. Yeah. Oh no! Wheat particles in my eyes. Oh, blah, no. My only weakness. Blah. Well, I'm also scared of bees and also uh, heights. I actually have a lot of weaknesses. Uh, guns, yep, gunfire, stabs, yep. There's a, there's actually quite a lot. Um, that's new and different. The birds? Those aren't birds, Mike. Yeah, those aren't? No. It those are like... those guys that were on the roof of the Castle Dimitriesque. Uh, gargoyles? Yeah. Whoa, Got nice one. shot! Got two. Can you get three for three? Got three. Dang. All right. Threats dealt with before you even had to deal with them. Yeah. That Who's, rifle's coming in handy. Who says I'm bad at this game? <sighs> no one said it, I don't think. But we'll have to see. Oh, I was what? thinking it. Ah, rest of scrap. Yes, but you also have low self-esteem and you think you're bad at everything. I do have low self-esteem. Thank you. You're Thank well. you for noticing. Ah. Thank you for thanking me. You're so perceptive. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> no, thank you for thanking me for thanking you. You're welcome. <laughs> I am the best, aren't I? Oh, God. Harpies! Harpies! You did say there would be harpies in this game, and now we found them. Wait. There you there go. go. Get up so I can kill you again. Ooh! I wasn't serious. You're supposed to stay dead. The vampire screamed, Oh no, flower in my eyes! I thought vampires were weak to garlic. Yes, but I'm also I'm also gluten intolerant. <laughs> Ooh, there's another goat! And that one's shootable. Good, we're good, 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 good. Man, I am just finding all kinds of stuff so far. My boss and I were discussing lumber prices today, because- Lumber? Yeah. It's ridiculously expensive. Well, you know, everything's been aff been affected lately, so there's everything's really expensive, and everything's on back order. Ooh, Louise's necklace. How convenient that that ended up there. Neat. Yeah, lumber prices are ridiculous. That's all I wanted to say. What the? Hey, grenade launcher rounds for a um, grenade launcher we don't have yet? Will there be a grenade launcher? Jill, I found three grenade launchers. Can you come here and make it 300, please? Um, You know, the duplication glitch. Yes. Okay. So there's going to be grenade rounds. I like how there's an ordnance bomb on there. What, what if there isn't and these are just Chekhov's gun? What if it's a red hair? What if it's to tease you? No, if it was Chekhov's gun, then there there would be a grenade launcher like immediately. No, I mean that's just laying there. It's a red herring, so and it's just, you can't do anything with it. Yeah, it, it, I mean a red herring is one thing, but it's it's not it's not a Chekhov's gun. It is a Chekhov's gun. No, Chekhov's gun is a gun that eh, never mind. Chekhov's gun is a thing that gives you an indication it's going to be useful later on, but that it never gets used. No, Chekhov's gun means that it has to get used. Check if it if it doesn't get used, then it's not Chekhov's gun. But that's, then it's just a red herring. Chekhov's gun is a thing that. What? No, no that's Chekhov. Some guy's lunchbox. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Chekhov's gun is um, if you put a gun on the counter in the first act, uh -huh. then it has to be used in the last. Yes, exactly. That is Chekhov's gun. <laughs> right. If you put a gun on the counter and it doesn't get used in the last act, then it's not Chekhov's gun. It's just a red herring or bad writing. Wait, really? Yeah. I thought Chekhov's gun was the name for a gun that doesn't get used. Like, that was why it's called that. No. I don't think so. I was always... I was always under the, the impression that Chekhov's gun meant that it had to, that it was something that had to be used. I was under the impression oh, that... Man, I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb as hell. I was I'm under... You know what? I'm <laughs> dumb as hell. That's what it is. You can't just say that. I was under the impression that Chekhov's gun was the name of a lit literary term for a thing, like Chekhov's gun, that doesn't get used. I always thought it had to be used. Otherwise, it's just a red herring. I, 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 yeah, I think we have the same 
reasoning for it. Like, it has to be used, otherwise it's Chekhov's gun. They're, they're saying I'm correct. It. I'm Zach correct. is right? Really? Well, the masses are never wrong, so I guess you're right. Yeah, it has to be It has to be used, otherwise it's irrelevant and to the story. while you wait for it to be fired or the movie to end its Schrodinger's gun. Yes, that's it. Is it? Oh, okay, because... Okay, I've never heard that term before. I think you all are just conspiring to make things up, make me believe the wrong thing, but all right, all right. All right, um... Red meat. Don't highlight an item without later using it. Yes, that is Chekhov's oh. gun. Chekhov's gun is a gun that is highlighted without using it later. The necklace, the necklace stone. Oh. Yeah. All right, so I have Louise's key. Mm -hmm. What does Louise's key go to? Probably Louise's door. Well, Louisa is dead and her house has been burned down, so I kind of doubt it goes to that. Remove maybe it does, and I just can't do anything with it. The, the phrase, remove everything that has no relevance to the story. If you say in the first chapter that there is a rifle hanging on the wall, in the second or third chapter, it absolutely must go off. If it's not going to be fired, it shouldn't be hanging there. Yes, I think we're both at, on the same page of what Chekhov's gun is, but the term Chekhov's gun, to me, always referred to a gun that was showcased but never used, and that's why it's called Chekhov's gun. Oh, see, I always thought that it was, it better frickin' be used, otherwise it's not Chekhov's gun, it's just irrelevant. Yeah. That's, that's not how I saw it, but apparently your explanation is closer to mine, or is closer to the correct one. Apparently I was wrong, but I still feel like I should be right. I'm always wrong. Well, apparently not this time. Why are you so full of self-doubt today? I don't know. Because it's fun. <laughs> it is? To be self-depreciating and hate yourself? Sweet potato fries or normal fries? Onion rings. Uh, no preference. No religious preference. Apparently there's something in here that I'm missing. There's there's an item somewhere in here. I don't know where it is. Hmm. Shall oh. I take a peek at it? Two eyes, two sets of eyes better than one? You looked up the cracks in the ceiling. Hmm. Hmm. What could be missing? Hmm. Am I looking directly at it? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Can I? Let me know you want me to give it a peek because I could try and do that too. Are you saying you want to play the game? Maybe for a little bit to check out if I can see if I can find this thing that's hidden in the room. It's like You're little, just going to waste all of my ammo. It, no, it's like a little game where you try and figure out where it is. Oh, maybe you have to push that to the side. It's hiding behind there. Who may be? <sighs> Dang. The flower all emptied out. So you can't shoot the flower anymore? Apparently not. You, wait, really? You can't do that? It was a one-time use only flower. Huh? Maybe. All right. All right, give it to me. I'll try it. Give it, give it, give it. I just want to... Oh. Oh, oh, you found it. It's just some scrap. Oh, for God's sake. Was that it? That was oh, it. for God's sake. <laughs> all right, fine. Let me out. Let me out of here. Good grief. Uh, garbage. Grr. How far are we into the game? We have beaten uh, Lady Demetras. We're six hours in at this point. We're six hours in and I've accomplished nothing. Well, that's not true. You killed three women. Four women. Four women. I, Zach has killed many women. Um, so Zach the Ripper over here is trying yeah. to find his way to the village. All right, I have another first aid med. How many? I can probably make... We can make another shotgun ammo. Another <laughs> shotgun ammo. All right. So you've made some stuff. Okay, we're still exploring buildings then, right? Yes. Chekhov's gun is an insignificant object that later turns out to be important. Well, that doesn't seem right. There's another well here. Okay, use a crank on that then? All right. I thought Chekhov's gun was an insignificant ob or was a significant object that later turns out to be not important, so I had the exact opposite. Ooh, crabs! Oh, a necklace with two holes. It'd be funnier if it was crabs. <laughs> Bees! It was a bucket full of bees! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, hmm. Apparently, I will find some things that can go into it later. Okay. That's that's my guess. It's combinable, so obviously save it for later. I yes. don't have the thing to combine with it, though. Well, do I? I don't know. Or maybe you sold the things that need to be combined with it. Mm. 
Come on, let's go find the rest of your daughter and build a daughter. I'm working on it. Build a body. Yep, that's a necklace stone. Can I put that in the necklace? No. Not yet, no. Okay. Let's look at this head flask. Can I see the head in there? No, it's really hard to tell what's actually in it. Look, it looks like the umbrella logo. Yeah, it kind of does. Hmm. So, who is the sicko that decapitated a baby? I don't know. Build a baby workshop. Was it Chris? I... maybe? Maybe that's why I initially have a negative impression, uh, opinion on this game. is because I liked Chris for so long. I liked Chris for 20 years, and now suddenly he's the bad guy who kills your wife. It's like, come on. That's just straight-up character assassination at this point. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, like, okay, remember, so... Resident, remember in Resident Evil 6 where Chris is, like, a good guy to a fault, and his friends are like, Hey, can you, like, snap the fuck out of it, man? Can We got shit to do. Come on, let's go. I don't remember that in oh, Resident you, Evil 6. You don't remember that campaign? Yeah. Maybe I'm misremembering. I only played it once myself. Um, I did not really like Resident Evil 6. I was quite bored by it. Yeah, I got through the entire thing, but, yeah. At that point, it was more of an obligation because I like Resident Evil 5 so much. I was only really scared at one point where you, uh, you're playing as Sherry and your partner gets taken away from you and you kind of get uh, locked up in a straight jacket and in the insane asylum you can't really use a gun or anything so you're just running away from monsters trying to escape. I don't remember that either. Yeah, that was probably the scariest. But that's the most memorable bit of that game for me at least. I, I do find it interesting that Resident Evil 6 takes place like before this game. Because I think Chris would be like 50-something in this game? He, Chris, Chris defy, he used Umbrella's ointment to defy time. He, he lives forever. I suppose that's entirely possible. But yeah, he would be like 40 or 50-something in this game. Mm -hmm. um, but like in Resident Evil 6... Oh, look at the little cat picture. Oh, that's in Res horrible. In Resident Evil 6, everybody has like these weird cell phones that are like just made of crystals. <laughs> what? All right. Yeah, you don't remember that? Like Ada has like a weird cell phone that's like made of like a crystal thing. I don't remember that now. Yeah. So, looking for something in here? Just trying to find uh, I guess. I'm We're just not... digging around trying to find that one piece of scrap you missed earlier, huh? I don't know what I'm missing in this building. Lantern. Oh, well, I'm missing the... There's there's a thing with a key there. Okay, so let's let's move on. A thing I with a key, all right. Yeah, there's a thing I need a key for. So let's try... This poultry, building. The poultry room. The poultry room, yes. All right. Hup, two, hup, two, hup, two, hup, two, hup, two. Oh, that's right. I did shoot open the gate to that one building. Yeah, if if um, the original Resident Evil took place in 1990 and Chris is like 20 then. Uh, 1998 is when the original oh, one okay. took place. So he's like 40s or 50s at this point. Yeah. Yeah, the original one takes place in 1998. And you know how I know that? Mm -hmm. Because the intro to Resident Evil 4, Leon says 1998. I'll never forget it. Oh, that's the first words of the game. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Ooh, a box. Keys. So you put um, that on the key. Winged key is just a single piece. These three more parts are needed to make it whole. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, here's one of the pieces. Take I, it. Okay, so take it. What? T take it. Combined with the winged key. Yay! Damn. Damn, oh. Sacrifice two goats, huh? Stop sacrificing goats to Mother Miranda. Maybe if I keep on giving her goats, she'll bestow her blessing upon me. Offered wool. She instructed to find a list of drugs and tools. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's some wool, Mother Miranda. Great, can you get me some ibuprofen? My head is killing me. <laughs> Seriously, I just need, I need some ibuprofen. Mother Miranda needs her clonopins. Go get them. Also a voice, I'm trying to assemble this. No messages from her. The livestock won't stop the ruckus. Okay. Chris is 48. He was born in 1973. Take the items to the cave church at sunrise. But it was scary. The, the great four lords were there, and M Mother Miranda was holding a child. Then she touched the child and turned it into a white crystal. Mm. What? The crystal you're probably holding right now. Then she, 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 she. Uh, why did you do such a thing? She. This is the chosen child. She will return to her original form no matter what befalls her. And then she gave each lord a part of the crystal and a, and a flask, and they left. I forgot to bow to her before I fled. I was still shaking. What do I do? What is that child? Let's better see the Duke again. All right, we'll go see the Duke again, but I'm not done exploring this area yet. So we are doing a build a baby. You gotta find the rest of the, year, the three other parts of your baby. Apparently so, and then we have to make Mother Miranda touch it. All right, so we're not done exploring yet. Um, we can go up this up to the stairs mm -hmm. or up mm -hmm. the ladder somewhere. Okay. 
There is a ladder somewhere. Then, then we just gotta go find it and climb it. Go, go, go. There you go. <laughs> you got a Voltron, your baby. <laughs> By our powers combined, you are Rosemary Winters. Mm -hmm. Can I climb that? By Mirror's Edge logic, it looks like it's climbable, but I don't it's, think you I can. mean, it's highlighted with yellow, which usually means that's something you can interact with in this game. Right, but apparently not. Gotta All get right. the repelling rope first, apparently. All right, so we are on the roof. On the roof. On the roof. What's your favorite gun from the Resident Evil games? Uh, Red 9. Ah. On the roof. On the roof. On the roof. Don't fall off and break your neck. If the baby is Exodia, some dumbass kid is going to throw her off a boat. <laughs> I understood that reference. All right. I've um, now gathered all five pieces of the baby. Rosemary, obliterate. What was the door? There was like a... Oh, was this the, was this the house that I shot open the lock to? I think it was. Zach, why are we making progress? Because I'm exploring. I'm having fun. Dang it, stop having fun. I know you don't like having fun. I hate fun. All right, well, I guess we can go... Can I go through the altar and go around? Maybe. I lay my baby sideways in defensive mode. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I turned my baby into pot of greed. Well done, match call. <laughs> <laughs> Pot of Greed, that was banned in 2008. How dare you? Oh. Duke, I don't need to talk to you yet. Don't start a cutscene! Ah. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found a key. I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First, you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one. I read that. I read total as idiot. So it's like, there are four in idiot. <laughs> you see, that would make it, that, that would appeal to me more. Mother Miranda is the cold, yeah, Duke just started sassing off to you. Yeah. Village. Four lords serve under her. Oh, can I pick up my phone with my feet? The Probably. first you've already oh. met, the Lady Demetrius. Yes. Ooh, so angry. The she did. The lives deep in a valley of mist. The marionette. The maker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. Cool. Dank. Dank. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. Is he from the island of Dr. Moreau? It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. Also crocodiles. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory dangerous? on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left Is that alone. A tank? <sighs> Zach, how would you feel if Leon turned out to be a bad guy? Hmm? Um, I would be annoyed. Yeah, exactly. I'm kind of if annoyed about that being Chris. To save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. They're all in this shack behind me. Some treasures still lurk in this village. Ooh. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. So, Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon. He wants you to assemble all four pieces so he can have all the power for himself. He wants all the pieces of Exodia. Yeah, exactly. He wants to summon it. Okay, so I can go through this door. Leon did shoot the president? No, he didn't. It won't fit. It's decorated with a four-winged being. Um, uh, oh, does the key have to have a being in it as well? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it does. All right, all right. All right, well, there's still stuff in the village. So we have to go to a different door then. Yeah. Okay. So, there's still stuff in the village. I want that stuff. We will go get that stuff. Okay, let's go. All right, first thing. Um, we're gonna go to, I can't go through there. How do I get over there again? I think I have to go, we're gonna keep going straight. Uh, can't keep going straight. How do I get through there? Also, like I was saying earlier, while you're trying to solve this out, while you're trying to solve this, mm -hmm. 
uh, amongst your belongings you gave me was a bunch of little figurines, and I don't know, some of them hadn't even been taken out of boxes yet. They hadn't been taken out of their plastic wrapping. Well, like what? Like little tiny little plastic women doll figurine things. Oh, they've you know. been taken out. No, they were still in their plastic wrapping. Oh, it's because I kept them in the plastic wrapping. Yeah. Yeah. To keep them in good condition? I guess, yeah. Oh. But, like, I had taken them out. They were displayed. Like, when I was in high school, they were still displayed. They were displayed with their pa plastic wrapping still on? No, I just kept the little... I kept the cardboard box they were in, and I kept the plastic wrapping so that I could transport them. But the plastic wrapping was still on them. They had not been taken out of the plastic wrapping yet. Yeah. No, the plastic wrapping was just a little, like, plastic... It's like a little Ziploc bag thing. It wasn't Ziploc, no. I don't think so. Maybe it was. Maybe I just tore apart a Ziploc bag for no reason. I don't know. Oh, well. Okay, um, apparently I need a specific key to get in here. Yeah, they were they're little plastic figures that were from uh, Onegai Teacher. Yeah. Onegai Teacher. Lockpick! Yo, wait, what? I actually catch a stream with Mike and Zach. Is it my birthday? Is it Icon's Game Room? Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Icon's Game Room. How old are you? One, are you two, are, are you three, three, are you four, are you five, five are you six, six? are you seven? Why is there a doll? Are I, you eight, I, are you nine? I just realized you can't tell us through the stream right now. Oh. Uh, or maybe you can, I don't know. I remember, yeah, remember, um, what was the name of the store we used to go to at the mall that sold those? Uh, <laughs> Suncoast. Sun, was it Suncoast or was it something before Suncoast? No, it was Suncoast and then Suncoast became FYE. I, I thought there was something before Sun Coast, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was Sun Coast. Well, okay, so I can't get in here yet. The Maestro's Collection. Oh, wait a minute. There's a note. To whom may concern due to the Luthier's long absence, I am keeping hold of the house key. Find me if you need it. Joseph Simone. Benavido's Gardener. Hmm. Yeah, I, I still remember going into Sun Coast with you and still checking things out. And you were like, oh, what a guy figurines. And they were all randomized. They were kind of like little gotcha boxes where you... Yeah. There's like, one out of the five figurines that this set is in here, but which one is it? I don't know. It's a mystery box. Ooh. And there were four busty women and one of the figurines... The, like, there were four different women and then one also was like a small child. Yeah, one's like a teenager or something and I wasn't really into that one. Yeah, because that's how like they do it in all those animes. It's like... Uh, it's my unbirthday and 24. Very merry Oh, uh, very merry unbirthday to you! To you! To you! To you! So you, there were five figurines you could get in these mystery boxes. Yeah. And the four of them you were they were palatable. Like, oh, these are some hot, cute ladies. And the one was like, oh, this is a small child. I don't. I wish Japan would stop sexualizing these things, but okay. And I remember you would pick these boxes up and you'd ha have one in each hand and you'd be comparing the weights of them. Like, hmm, this one feels lighter. I don't think I'm gonna buy this one. There's less plastic in this one, which means it was probably got the small child in it. And you never picked the small child box. Yep, I never got that one. I also got the randomly, uh, the, the super rare one in 1000 random inserted one that was, uh, that's Mihuzo Kazami sitting on an office chair. Yeah? Yeah, and the only reason I knew it was that one is because it didn't, it didn't clunk around in the box because they had wrapped it in bubble wrap. Oh, to keep it so fancy and yeah. precious. Do you still have that one or is that one? I still have that one, yeah. Okay. That one actually is sitting on a shelf at home. Well, between the figurines you gave me like 15 years ago at Suncoast, because I remember you bought a figurine from here too. Mm -hmm. I still have those. They've been sitting on my desk forever. Yeah, I think I bought, I think I I used the same principles to figure out uh, which ones were which from uh, Love, Hi Love Hina. Love Hina, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's what that girl that is sitting on my uh, mantle is. It's from Love Hina, that's right. It's like the yes. primo, primo character. Um, so between the between those ones you gave me 20 years ago or so, and the ones that you just kind of got rid of today, I've got about 15 women right now. Yeah, you got a little 15, 15 little plastic women. I've got my own harem. Indeed. Of, of plastic figurine women. All right, well, apparently, so from what I can tell. Fun fact, for those who don't know, a looter is a title for a craftsman of stringed instruments. Oh, a looter. Good info. I did not know that, thank you. Um, so... From what I can figure, I can't get through here because it's locked from the other, other side. We have known each other since high school. Yes. Um, I can't get through. So apparently the only way for me to get into this area right here is by going through the East Old Town. And I can't get through the East Old Town until I have the four-winged unborn key. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, right now I'm going to go over here and use the lock pick on that. Oh, there was a there's a well I completely missed. So we'll yeah we'll do those two things. All right. So let's go to let's go use this lockpick. This way. 
I shouldn't say I have a harem because right now the uh, figurines are all gathered around my s Solid Snake and Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2 figurines. So Solid Snake and Raiden have a harem? Yes. It's and April 30th. Coincidentally, Raiden's wife's name is also Rosemary, which is why I keep con why, I, it's why I keep thinking, oh, Rosemary, that's your wife who just got murdered by Chris. But no, that, that's, that, that was Mia. That was Mia. I keep getting confused because of that. Shotgun shells. Okay, does that mean the room is clear then? That means this house is clear. Now all, all we right. have to do is go to the well. well Mike has a harem. It also includes Snake and Raiden. <laughs> there you go. Also, yes. All right. Well, I'm down with it. All right. So, just going to get a few more things done, huh? Mm-hmm. I can remember what I'm doing. Oh. This is open now. You know, you don't have to 100%. Oh, okay, yeah. There's, well, there's free stuff in here, and I want it. Okay, grab the free stuff. I'm not trying to 100% it. I'm just finding free stuff. A teddy bear. This is kind of a weird that face. That's weird. Some money. Anything in the chimney? Cook some meat, maybe? Yep. Viviante. Nice. I'm glad I looked in there. I feel like you didn't study that horrific-looking teddy bear long enough, considering how messed up its face was. No, we'll look at it now. That bear had seen some shit. That bear had seen some serious shit. Match Call says, in popular opinion, I like Raiden. I know a lot of fans like him too, but Metal Gear Solid 4's writing staff certainly didn't. I think Metal Gear Solid 4's writing staff tried to redeem him in a lot of people's eyes. Yeah, I think they tried to make him cool. I kind of like this teddy bear. <laughs> it's messed up, yeah. <laughs> a slightly dirty teddy bear. The Duke will probably buy it. Should say, like, it's, it's worth one Leah. That's it. You bring it there and the Duke just starts crying. He's like, it's my old teddy bear. <laughs> when I was, Actually, when I was cleaning out my house, I found... Um, it's priceless. I'll give you one gold for it. I'll give you one gold. Um, when I was cleaning out my, my basement, I did actually find... Uh, rat piss everywhere. No, I didn't find rat piss everywhere. Um, I did actually find like a little... Uh, a tiny stuffed puppy that I had when I was a small boy. Aww. Like a baby. Nice. I was... I, I thought that was gone... So, oh, I can go in here now. Oh, there you go. You found where you're going now. Wait, can you go in here? Yeah. The Louisa key, iron insignia key. Yeah, I found it. Um, I was, I was so happy I found that thing. I thought he was gone forever. Cool. Good to hear. Hmm. Oh, oh. There we go. <clears throat> Try again. There you go. Got it. All right. My duck. It has returned. Your duck has returned, Icons Game Room. Congratulations. Thank you. A few more handgun bullets because we're getting a little low. Is there anything else in here? I don't know what else is in it. Why is it telling me there's chickens? Because I know there's chickens. Am I supposed to shoot them? Shoot the chickens. All right. I'm doing this under protest, but okay. <laughs> Poultry. God. All right. Well, we got chicken meat now. I feel bad about shooting the chickens. Who wants to make a stew? Lock it's locked side. from the. How is, is there? Is that is that like an elevator? Hmm. All right. Well, this area has been unlocked. And there's not a whole lot left here. That's it's unlocked though. So there you go. Where else? What else? Mm. Um. So the next thing we want to go down here to get to the well. Okay. Because I missed that well. Seems like this game is kind of linear, except instead of being like a straight line linear, it's just go from point A to point B to point C, but it's all over the place. like a little child scribble all over the place. Oh, paper. it's fine. The only reason it's taking so long is because I want to explore everything. Okay. I have the key. I could go to the next area, which is the area with the doll, I guess. But I really want to explore everything. I'm not trying to 100% this. I just want to make sure that no stone is left unturned. So at yes, least, like are, temporarily. We are probably gonna go 100% We're this not gonna 100% this. It's probably impossible. I've heard that if who slapped that chicken hard enough, it should cook it. Go on, slap that chicken. That sounds I, like a euphemism. I am sure that that will actually work, but it's probably like an impossible amount of time that the chicken must be slapped. Hey, stop. What's that sound? Slapping the chickens and going around. Okay, thank, thank what's the bounty? <laughs> thank you, Need to Carry BR, for subscribing at tier three. Nice. Right, so we need to go left. Yeah, I like this game. Or seven more? Uh, Zach liked this game more than seven. So I'm far, So far, I do. I'm up in the air on it right now. At this point, I would actually say I like Resident Evil 7 more, because mostly because of the DLC where you punch enemies. 
There was, I think it was a DLC where you played as Jack. As Jack Baker? What? There was a DLC where you play as Jack Baker and you ran around punching in the enemies. I don't remember that at all, and I think you're making it up. No, it's true. I did. I, I did a whole video on the channel. I don't think that's real. It was the most fun I had with Resident Evil 7. Oh, okay, we're in the correct area. Chris, this way! <laughs> Chris, this way! Do not enter. Oh, I missed those hokey cutscenes. You play as Jack's brother. Oh, uh, okay. That's right. Was it his brother, Poncho? <laughs> he must have been. Found another lockpick. Jim Baker. Another lockpick. Okay. Well, all right. Well, all right. So. Oh, there's a chest down there. It's, it's right. Uh, I can't get into that one yet because I can't get into the house yet. Oh, okay. So once I find the key, I should be able to get in there. Um. But I think we're pretty much clear so why don't we finally confront the next enemy yes but first we'll go here Zach you told me this is gonna be a scary stream people were hyping it up and now we should be walking around the village for two hours <laughs> no -uh. no -uh. it hasn't been two hours no uh -huh. climb out of this vehicle again and get cut in half okay bisected uh. nope didn't get cut in half all right finally we're moving on to the next area i apologize for taking so long also, I I don't because I this I wait I can hear I can hear a goat I can hear a goat. Oh, you're right. I hear to the left. Now it's like straight. Is it uh? It's like straight ahead. I can is hear it, it up on top of that fence post? Is it right up there? If you look up, is it on top of the? Nothing scarier than a certain salmonella contamination in that chicken. I'm sure once we eat it, we'll regret every moment of it. I know I can hear a goat somewhere. Where is he? I can hear it too, but I just don't see it. Man, I love the village part of Reese 8. We are in, we are currently in the village looking goat? for this goat. I wonder if it's on the other side of this wall. It, it yeah, it must be because or unless you can see it through there, it's got to be on the other side or something. Unless you can look up, you're right, you're right there. It's like it's really loud right now. Is it in the tree? I don't see it, but... All right, let's go on the other side of that it's, wall. Yeah, it's got to be on the other side. We got to shoot this goat. Shoot the 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 goat. Oh, uh, oh, there you go. All right, so this part of the wall... Oh, I hear it. There, it's super loud now. There he is. Die, goat. Got him. All right, what did they even accomplish? I, I don't know. Shooting the goats does something. <laughs> does it? Or do we not even know? I We don't know what it does, but they're little shootable collectibles. If the only thing you get for it is you unlock an achievement, that'd be disappointing. That would be slightly disappointing, yes. That'd be a waste of time. Go through here. Goat through here. Goat through... Why can't I get through this stupid building? Pissing me off. Oh. Oh, I can pick this lock now. What's in the what's in the box? What's in the box, man? What's in the box? And it, what is what is in the box? Is it an M16? Come on, show me. It's just five shotgun, but hey, it's seven. Oh, seven shotgun shells. I was close. The DLC with Jack's brother can be in, summed up as you're insistent on a fistin, brother. Yep, you just go around a bunch of enemies. I remember. Well, apparently, there's something else in here that I missed. Really? Yeah. Another goat we gotta shoot, or hmm. oh, down there. No, that's just the drawer. Maybe it's in the barrel of apples. Maybe it's in the barrel of this gun and I have to just put it in my mouth. Well, that's unnecessarily dark, <laughs> but okay. And uh, I'm, the one, I'm the one who's supposed to be not liking this one, Zach. Where is this last item? Where is? Where is it? Where is? Hey, Zanj, I have some A321 titanium bolts. Ooh. How can I send them to you? I love the content and listening to your anecdotes. Love you guys. Hey, thank you. Hopefully we get a P.O. box at some point in the future. Hopefully sometime later this year. I, okay, well, I give up. I don't see anything. I scoured the house. Didn't see nothing. So you sure there's anything in the house? Maybe maybe you uh, looked the color wrong. EA Sports. It's in the the rest of this title sequence can be purchased for $5.99 from the, from the ePlay store. 
All right, well, apparently there's an item in there that I have completely missed and I cannot find, so, um... Is there, like, a loose floorboard we could peel, peel back? Well, I don't know. Whatever, I'm not looking for it anymore. Let's let's continue on to the next area. People want to see actual gameplay, not me farting around and doing nothing. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. We've been doing this for a while, so we should probably get to the actual game. Collectibles can be saved for later. I, you, you, I mean, you have this game now, so if you want to be more methodical and intense about it, you can do that on your own time, right? Would you like to purchase the basic movement control DLC? Oh, I can't go... Oh, the bridge is up now. Odd. Fish! You could shoot a few more fish if you want to, but let's move on. The bridge is up so you can't go back then? Apparently not. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, but you had to go oh. that way to trigger these guys to what show the... up. You guys! Why? Be a sports, they'll find some way to fuck it up. Any game by yeah. Whoa! I got a bite on you. Oh no. Remember how Anthem was supposed to be like one of the best games ever? Yeah. And then EA was like, no, it has to be multiplayer and, and it has to be done right now. Why aren't you done with it yet? <laughs> you know, for uh, all of Fallout 76's faults, you gotta get it credit because they had a roadmap and they actually completed it, unlike Anthem. Yeah. Oh, we made everything blue. Don't you guys love this? <laughs> oh, brother. It's a bummer, because, like, Anthem could have actually been good. It, yeah. Lots of things that are rushed could have eventually been good if they weren't rushed. But they ruined it. They just completely ruined it. Which is fine. I don't need another game to get addicted to. I'm yeah, glad that do. games as a service failed. Can't believe you pre-ordered Anthem. That'll learn you. We learned our lesson about pre-ordering a long time ago. You wish to make a purchase? Yes. Ah, yes, I have you. Find Ooh. some quality ingredients and bring them to me. I have found some quality ingredients. Uh, let's make make me... Hooray, we don't, we don't have to eat herbs anymore. We can just make plants. Movement speed increases permanently. Oh, uh, proper crafting in this game, huh? But you need more finest fish for it, though. Okay, can I make... Nope, can't make that. Looks like you can only make herbed fish right now. The first one. Can you make this one? Apparently you can make three flavored mitite. mitite. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I want the sound, I like, oh no, I need four fish. Health increases. Oh, well I can just go get more fish. I can go get more fish. Oh, go murder those fish. If you want to, sure. Quick test because I just thought of something interesting. Fish goatee. Nope, nope, doesn't say fish fish, it says fish goatee. What's fish goatee? Uh, goatee is the, how do I explain that in a simple way? People make fun of how English is really stupid, so it's like the GH sometimes makes the F sound, depending on where it is in a word. Hmm. Somebody's got a better example for it. Eh? Like, if you take the GH from cough... Yeah. So that's the F sound, right? The GH and cough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you take the O from, I don't know, some other word, like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you take all these stupid sounds, and the G-H-O-I-T-I spells fish, if you pronounce these things like that. But. Oh, okay. So it's not, it's not a different word. It's just... Yeah. Okay. Goatee is the technically correct way of spelling fish to make the same sounds that can be found throughout Welcome, the English Ethan. language. Yep. Ooh. All right, now you can make that new recipe. Let's see. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. How long do you estimate until the Duke's gonna lose a foot to the BDs? Five minutes. <laughs> uh, yes, and then it's okay. He's probably lost that foot several times, but he just uses the chem spray to put it back on. Ah, uh, yes. Have to manually put all of the ingredients in there? Don't let up yet. There you go. I guess. Oh, I need one more meat. Oh, you don't have enough meat. Uh, well, they're in there though, so the next time I come back, I can just go ahead and... Oh, so you can just throw stuff in here. I, I, I don't know, you say so. Ah, thank you. If you say so. Make things halfway and then get out of here. Yeah. All right. All right, so we'll sell the crystal fragment, sell the vivanite, uh, keep that, keep that, sell the teddy bear. Oy. Keep the necklace stone, I think, and keep the wooden goat. Man, my back is still really sore. 
Why? Because I power washed my and deck. Buy it, I will. Well, why'd you do that? Because it was oh. caked with do mold. Do let me know if you find anything else of value. I wasn't done yet. As you wish. Yeah, I, I spent the weekend power washing my deck, and it took me. I thought, oh yeah, you know, just power washer just shouldn't take that long. But no, it, would, it took a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two or three hours of being Quick hunched question, over. What are your top five favorite weapons? Gunblade. One through five are gunblade. Mike has. Mike makes poor life choices. <laughs> Zach's, Zach's just oh, P90s through P90s. Zach's favorite weapons include the P90, the M1911, um, the Matsuba handgun, and the Pancor so jackhammer. Goods is no. More important That's four. Than anything. Anything. Uh, it's too hard for me to pick what my favorite weapons are. I have too many. Nah. Uh -huh. A real Sophie's choice for you. So, gun parts? Yeah, sure, why not? I hope this one. Okay. Can we get to the scary scary? Yes, Makes now we can useful. we can finally so move on. Does it make you feel to know that gun blades were actually legitimate weapons during the Middle Ages? They weren't. You can't you can't gotcha. you can't convince me. No matter what you show me, I will refuse to believe you. Were they called bayonets? All right, use the key to go into the next area and be properly scared by an actually scary thing. I'll let these losers keep on jumping out of you. I'm a thrall. Me, thrall noises. The Met in New York has an entire exhibit on gun blades. Oh. Nope, I don't believe you. They better have Squall's gun blade. Hey, dolls are being hanged. This is some Blair Witch Project garbage. I'm interested in this. Are there more goats in here? I thought I heard goat noises. No, it's the sound of rattling bones. It's part of the ambience music. You're the one to turn the music back on. What about gun gloves where you puke in something and it fires a .38 round? I've never seen a gun glove before, but okay. Uh, any recommendations for getting Cosmoline out of my Mosin in the Gaunt stock? Um, uh, Windex. <laughs> All right. I, I'm not kidding. Windex is actually very good at removing Cosmoline. There you go. Hot tip. I didn't know that. Also, very hot water. Okay, what is going on? Potter's Field. All right, well, pick a dead end and go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Gravestone. Um, I can't read it. It's all in a foreign language. Tell us about the time you played cello. I mean, there's not much to say. I played cello for like two and a half years. I was okay at it. I played baritone. I, I can only play music by ear. I can't read sheet music. Um, granted, the last time I tried to learn how to read sheet music, uh, it was a long time ago, but. Also, I played first baritone. I don't think you asked about that, but I was first baritone. That's singing. No, I, first baritone. Baritone what? I was lead baritone. Lead baritone what? I was the top ranking baritonist. Baritone is, is your voice. No, baritone is the instrument I play. B baritone what? Baritone, tuba. Oh, okay. It's like a small tuba. Oh, okay. Fun fact, gun daggers were actually more prevalent than gun blades because they were cheaper than gun swords and most nobles could afford them. Those aren't real things. Oh, Somebody. This gun knowledge is oh it's overwhelming me i don't know anything about anything it somebody asked me what the hell somebody asked me um looks like that baby on that stroller exploded but babies don't explode babies don't explode if the benelli m4 is actually a, uh, as good of a shotgun the benelli m4 is probably like the best semi-automatic shotgun you can get except they are very expensive so i mean you know oh this is good i don't that uh, no no uh-uh nope just hold on to the rope rails, that's all. You sure? Mm. I think you might have to go down that way. Crap. Well, uh, I'm calling it right now. I'm totally gonna fall off this bridge. I bet you it's gonna fake you out halfway down. You're gonna go, whoa, whoa, and lose whatever handgun you have equipped. Oh no, Zach, quickly, equip that handgun. 
Dequip the handgun and dequip my hand. Oh yeah, do that too. Oh no, their monster bites you, loses a few more fingers. All right, we made it across the bridge. We're we're fine. We're fine. All right. Ethan. What? The fuck. Is that your wife, Mia? Uh, Mia, what the hell? Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? Uh oh, I'm hallucinating. What's going on? You're hallucinating. Uh, you're hallucinating. That's what's going on. You're overcome with grief because you didn't actually stop to process it. You just jumped right into this freaking haunted house mystery, and now you're trying to reassemble parts of your dead baby. Yeah. Your mind's starting to fracture a bit, Ethan. Yeah. What a surprise. Can't go through there. It's locked. Rose feels different. You know, she, well, it's Ethan, just... you have to fix her. She's missing her head. Hold on, yeah. I got that. She's made of parts. Man, Zoe. Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. Okay. You don't have to because you're dead. This can't be real. Oh man. Should have saved Zoe. She wouldn't have been a hallucination. Turn it Snake, turn the power off on your MSX console. Now! Ah. Uh, down. Come on. Let's see these hallucinations, Mia. Freak me out some more. Come Jump on. out at me. Scare me. Do Stay. something. Be scary. Axe muskets were also a real thing. No, they weren't. A. Benevito, 1987 to 1996. A. 2. Benevito. Freed from the binds of flesh, she now walks the valley of death. That's fucking metal. Am I losing it? Yes. Uh, so Ethan, you can't be trusted with guns anymore. <laughs> is this next session gonna be, Ethan has a bunch of hallucinations about things that aren't actually there. The Patriots, Ethan. It's all a political statement by the Patriots. Mew is definitely a part of Metal Gear. The la de la lo. It says give up your memories. All right. Insert family photo, huh? Hey, it's actually gonna plot use now. What's going on? Can I take the picture back? Nope. It should just be on the other side of that. It's not like it's a mailbox. Nope, someone grabbed it and ran away. Actually, oh, it, it went into the door. <laughs> the whole slot is gone. All right. Well, okay. I also can't fire my gun. Uh-oh. They took control away from you. Hmm. Bing bong. They wouldn't want you to accidentally fire it and hit the elevator. Going up. What if I pushed the up button and the elevator started going down? That'd be kind of spooky. Mm. Not really. Oh, oh, flickering. What's I'm that? gonna look at that because that's the only thing I can see. Ooh. You misspelled my name. <laughs> I spell Ethan with three E's. Ethan? I've just decided. That, that would be... Oh, my... E-T-H-E-E-N. No, my name is Ethan! Oh. Oh shit, where we go? Where are we going? We have no idea. We're just keep on. This is, this is the, the Tower of Fear from Disney World. Man, this is a really freaking long elevator. We are going up, right? I mean, it looks like we're going up. I'm gonna assume we're gonna keep going up. <laughs> this Disney ride sucks. <laughs> <sighs> So tell you come here often. More about guns made in the Middle Ages as a whole, but because nobles had to pay individual gunsmiths for their high quality guns, there was no standardization of any kind. Yes, exactly. Oh, great. None of the parts are interchangeable. Yeah. Yeah, because they were all like handmade. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> this is cool. That looks nice. I'm into this. I like this. It's a visual feast. That hallway looks familiar. Does it look familiar? I don't know. Mm -hmm. What stories do I have of Mike? I drove on a sidewalk. The end. Yeah, he drove on a sidewalk once. I shoved up a broom up his ass. I don't remember that one. <laughs> I don't think that actually happened. Um, 
What else? I'm not a very memorable person. I don't do memorable things. There was that one time I made you play Mass Effect and you didn't want to do it, and then you ended up liking it. No. <laughs> no. I didn't. You hated that series. That's why you you played through you played through it from start to end sarcastically. Yeah. That's why that's why I played through all all three of them because I hated it and I had a miserable time. Go! Bada bing. Um. Remember one time Mike threw a pizza box at the at a ceiling Literally fan in high one school? Of the most memorable Twitch channels I can think of. I'm not memorable. I'm not memorable. Nope. One time Mike threw a pizza box at a ceiling fan when we were in high school and he broke it. That wasn't me. Yeah, it was. No, it was not no, me. No, it was, uh, who was that? I Andrew. Oh, uh, was it Andrew? Okay. Yeah, the kid was kind of an, we were the group of outcasts. He was the asshole amongst us. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we were all kind of assholes, though. But we were all, yeah. I said, I should have said the most of us. He yeah. started the Mexican-American War. I hope he did that. Uh, all right, give me the controller. I'm taking control. No, I'm doing it. All right, fine. Do you want to? I'm just waiting for something to happen. I feel like we've been walking around the village and nothing's happened for two hours. <laughs> a lure? Oh. No, that's a that's a part of a lure. Literally started the Alamo on the Mexican side. Um. Okay. What's in this room? Garbage. Uh, can't get in there. The door is open, but I can't get in. All right. Apparently, this is this is supposed to be the scary part, so we'll see. Okay. Oh, oh, this is the hallway, the PT hallway. I don't think it is. I think it's just a hallway. Oh, you're right, it is. Every time I see an angled hallway, I think it's going to be the PT hallway, but it's not. It's locked. Shoot the lock with your gun. It doesn't work like that. You have 90 bullets. All right, fun. No, Mike, let Zack play. It's his turn on the PC. Dang it. Zack already owns this game now. It's, this is my turn. He's gonna go home and play it when he's done. Zack is gonna finish up here, go home and play it on his own time. No, I'm probably gonna go home and go to bed. <laughs> probably it's getting late, yeah. Ah! Whoa, boy, this sure is scary. No, oh, boy. I was referring more to that, um, that cabinet <laughs> over there. <laughs> Boop. Hey, Rob, thanks for seven. Good to see you. The cabinet to your right there. You walked into the room and you saw that cabinet. The white one right there. Oh, the, oh, the fireplace. Oh, I'm a fireplace mouth. Oh, is it drawing on the desk? Mm -hmm. I wanted to go check out this though. Ceramic plates. Zach, are the kind of player who unloads their full mag or reloads after every shot? Um, I'm the kind of player who reloads after every single shot. Like we all are. Yep. Oh wait, it's a picture of a plant. Yeah, it's a, it's a plant. Okay. All right. I'm sure that plant has significance to something. What you need, my friend, is a M23 rotary grenade launcher. Oh, rats? Uh, more china. Gunpowder? Uh, no. Yes? No. No, it's like film reels. Okay. Get, get out of here, doll. Yeah. Nice okay. wallpaper. Okay. Wallpaper's peeling pretty bad. I'm gonna try and be quieter than I normally am, just to give the game a bit more ambience and let it have an opportunity to scare me. Because if I'm if I'm always talking, then it might not be all that scary. So what's going on here in the east corner? What's, what's going on over here? Let's open this. Oh, there's nothing in it. Need to open then. Oh, That's yeah. locked. Why is there an elevator? Well, we're gonna go in the elevator and find out. Never mind. Well, let's go back in the foyer. But you're in the blue area, so the, the foyer is red. Yeah. And also, there were stairs going upstairs, so I'm not gonna take the elevator until I have found fully... the missing piece of scrap in the foyer, huh? Well, I want to see what was upstairs, which I realized I probably could have taken the elevator. What the hell? Why? Ah, uh, she's got a little marionette doll. Why? Why would you have a photo taken of you with your doll? Maybe she's proud of it. 
She maybe she designed that one herself. Maybe it's promotional material because she goes on the road with that doll. It's promotional material for the game. No, I think uh, Lady Dimitriescu has that covered. <sighs> Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Wow, it's nothing. All right, well, this was kind of a wash. I probably shouldn't have even come up here. I apologize. Disappointing. I gotta say, things are going really slow, and I know that's how you build up suspense in a horror game. All right, well, we'll take the elevator now. Okay, as we will. I wonder if that elevator's gonna go up or down. Hey, let's find out. Um, yeah, I went to work today from 8 to 2, and then I came home, and then I edited the video footage for some of the Frontier, and then you came over, and now we're playing this Not game. Not really getting suspense horror vibes. It just feels kind of slow and empty. Bingo! And down we go. Ooh, did something move without me knowing? Is something skittering around? Bunch of film strips. Yep. That's a cabinet. That's, mm -hmm. that's a cabinet. Examine that. Oh. Alkaloids of mountainous plants. Okay. Hey, everybody, it's time to hydrate. It's been two hours since we started streaming. I'm gonna drink some water. Mm. Has it been two hours? Yeah. It has been two hours. What have we done in that two hours? What have we got? Well, we got the key with four wings. Uh, we, we got some food for Duke. Um, we had a couple of hallucinations. We got our daughter's severed head. File cabinet. Oh. What is? A breaker box. Ah, oh, let's break it. I can't get in because I don't have the key. Ah, oh, I gotta find the breaker box key. Spooky. Not openable. That I, fruit has started to rot. Yeah, I will say this this house being very empty is gonna really scare the hell out of you when you see that something is actually here. Mm, maybe. Now we're in the PT hallway. I still feel like it isn't. Remember the PT that hallway. cop from the 80s version of Dawn of the Dead? The one who knew how to commit abortions? Call him. I what? Do, I do not remember that, no. Hi, how's it going? Mm, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> this feels like a setup. Hold on, I need to play, I need to play some Moonlight Sonata. Hey, look up! Marionette pieces! They're mannequin pieces. Ah, it's like a little mobile that doesn't actually move. All right, well, I'm gonna save before I pick that up. Is there a typewriter? Oh, there he is. Why is Ethan so winded? Because he's hallucinating and hyperventilating. Yeah, because he's losing his damn mind. So, what body part is that? Oh, never mind. Oh, gee, what a surprise! I've been waiting for so long. Oh, really? No. Why don't you come with me while I what? rebuild Rose, and then she'll have a friend. Oh, She's wait, gone. Where's my gun? It's a doll. Uh, it looks exactly oh, crap. like me. My gun is gone. Oh, they took your gun. Uh. Oh no, this doll doesn't have a pulse. <laughs> Remove shoulder, huh? Oh. Silver key. I was kind of hoping the doll would come to life and start screaming, but. Yep. Whoa! That's a kid! Can you believe it? She's, she's so energetic, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, okay. What the f- <laughs> Oh. Alright. What's the point of that? Looks like we're dismantling this doll piece by piece. Try and find- Oh, is my gun inside the mannequin? Let's see if we can- I bet you it's in her bosom, or maybe her neck. All I can do is, like, pick it up and look at it. Okay. How about this one, then? 
I'm not sure why this is the first thing that Ethan decided to do. My gun is gone. Better just remember a mannequin. Oh, another part of the key. A winding key. That looks kind of like the one that was at the beginning of the game. Oh, this, this reminds me of something funny I saw a while ago. I saw the instructions for how to dispose of a sex doll. What? Like, if you have a, a sex doll, but you get you, it's like all rotted or whatever. It's 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 old. You have to get rid of it. It's like on a, it's it's like on their web page. <laughs> They're frequently asked questions. Oh God. It, it says frequently asked questions. How do I dispose of my sex doll once it's served? It's once it's starting to break apart. It's like, well, <laughs> in the in the instructions it says you can start you can dismantle it for better fitting into your garbage. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Any, any instructions that have the words dismember, it probably shouldn't be, probably shouldn't be. Okay, you're trying to find the world in its eyes. Just kind of messing around that. Right. Okay, but I'm more concerned about people who keep dolls to the <laughs> point. Hey, I'm not judging. Yeah. Um, okay. We all need a friend. And just right. like that, now we know Mike was buying a sex doll. Don't tell me you haven't thought about it. We've all mm. thought about it. Have you really thought about it? We've all thought about it. You you were you were eyeing up that one that was dummy thick. That one, that one was very thick. That, one, that doll had it going on. Use the key. Oh, you gotta wash off the ring. Ah, that makes sense. There you go. There you go. Fleshlights, yes, sex dolls, fuck no. <laughs> sex dolls are just a bigger fleshlight. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. No. No, I really haven't. They creep me out. That's fair. <laughs> I think that's the biggest that's the biggest deterrent to buying one of those things is Yeah, they kinda hit that on Candy Valley, don't they? Oh, is oh, we can hide in here? Oh. Well, looks like we got some Outlast vibes going on. Hmm. No? Better get out of there. Ethan's starting to hyperventilate. Yeah, he doesn't like being in there very much. You hate Ethan's Ninja Turtle hands? <laughs> he does have three fingers. <laughs> hmm. A flashlight doesn't look like a human. Well, to be fair, none of his most sec dolls. Yeah, they don't, they don't really. Look, it's a dead picture. It's a picture of dead Mia. Oh, gross. Is this a doll of Mia? Oh. Yeah, I put that together like 10 minutes ago, man. On the topic of sex dolls versus fleshlights. I don't want a I don't want a doll that resembles a woman. I want a doll that just resembles the vagina part. That's all I want. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> man. Thank, thank you for subbing abandon all hope. Thank you. I don't know what is going on. You're dismembering your wife. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I don't know what's going on with you guys right now. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. My gun is missing. I'm disappointed in everything. Sex dolls can double as a makeshift weight for exercise if you're desperate enough. That's true, I heard they're heavier than they look. Ooh. Which insignia shot? I think it's that one. This one, though, uh, which one? You remember the insignia for this one? I don't remember. Was it that one? I don't know. Let's go back and look at the doll. I think we're also missing a third thing. So I know the leg had an insignia. The, oh, the eye. I didn't see the eye's insignia. It was a bird. Oh, it's the bird flying to the right. Okay. okay. I'll save up to sex robot. And no, I do not mean a haunted sex mannequin. <laughs> Okay, we got a key. So this one was... I blame fucking Zack for the sex toy tall him and his damn tengos. <laughs> so yeah. this one was like the, the three eyes that are closed. Right, which is also weird in itself. I kind of thought they'd come open. Congratulations, Zack. Welcome to the disappointment train of Mike's channel. <laughs> you can't get off, and there aren't any stations, but it's a good ride nonetheless. You're here, so might as well stay. Is it the... And this one was the bird flying the right. to there the right. We go. And now, um, need third thing. Looks, looks, like so so looks like something could fit in the depression, like ice cream. Yeah. Self-loathing usually fits in there pretty well. <laughs> I'll take your word on that. 
We might have the most stream watchers ever. We do, 275, it's a record. Goodness, we have quite a few people watching. Hello, everybody. Howdy, we're talking about sex dolls while we dismember our dead wife's body. The bandages are too tough. Mm, we need something to remove so hand again. So take the bandages off, Ethan. You have fingers. <laughs> Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. He's got some fingers. Could I just fit my depression into the depression? Ah, a depression depression. I can't do anything with that. I keep picking it up and staring at it and I don't do anything with it. If you, Ethan, do something with this. If you put your depression into the depression, that's how you get the Great Depression. Uh, Are there other body parts you need to remove then or something? I don't know, it doesn't It doesn't allow me to remove okay, anything Okay, so else. we obviously have to get to the thing in our chest, which means we have to find something to cut that, which means we gotta find a scissors or a knife or something. Yes. Or, I don't know, something sharp. Hmm, a weight? No. Um, what can we, what can we grab that's sharp? Like a pen knife, maybe? Well, that's locked. Hmm, maybe we can dissolve her tape with some absinthe. Maybe use a pencil from here on the table. Mm. Nope, not finding much of nothing. Hmm. We take depression and push it somewhere else. There you go. We take the depression. Yes, Zach still hates me. He's gonna quit soon, he says. Ahead of ourselves, you say ha 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 uh, ha ha ha. You know what? You know what? You know what? I think I, I think I just figured it, figured out what to do. Oh yeah, wedding ring goes in. Nope. No. Nope. Five twenty nine eleven. Oh, is that when you got married? Oh, uh, it was a z it was zero five. The Great Depression, literally caused by a redundancy error, before <laughs> computers existed. Gotta go all the way down to nine, and then eleven. I probably could have just gone. Oh, you definitely could have just gone up one. Yay! We're finally free! Now to go find a knife of some sort. Oh, this is the PT hallway! It's the PT hallway! It, 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 it isn't, though. It is. That one is. That one, this, this one is. It isn't, oh, though. It is. No, you're right. It never is. It is! It definitely is! I don't want to go in here. Oh. <laughs> that always right. seems stupid. The door moved on itself. Obviously, there's something in there. I'm taking the elevator and going back. I bet you can't. Comedy. Ha 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 Knife, or knife, or knife, 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 knife. Oh. No, it's the books. Ah. Uh, you could probably grab a record and break it in half. That would be pretty sharp. No, the, the records aren't actually as sharp as you would think they would be. No, are they more plasticky than I assumed? Yeah. Mm, I always assumed they were more like glass, but I guess I'm wrong. Use key on elevator? No, don't fit the lock. I don't fit the lock there. All right, let's go through the haunted doorway. Obviously, that's where we're gonna go because this is all on rails, ride the roller coaster. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to hide in these later. Probably, which is why you better familiarize yourself. Hey, with I remember this here. thing. BTW Zach, I implemented the CZ61 for the mod, so enjoy, I guess. Cool. Oh, what's this now? It won't play, so I think it's not right. Oh, uh, you gotta rearrange these cylinders somehow. Uh, do you have to arrange their scratch marks? I bet you those scratch markings are how you know which is oh, which. Oh, probably. So let's see, I believe, let's see. What goes on the far right side? I think, that one. Oh, I think number three. I think that one has to go all the way over. So let's grab uh, that one and swap it with one two to the left. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, the one, it's, it's the second one from the left. Here, I can do it. So I'm looking at the scratch marks. I think it's this one goes over here. Oop. Yeah. And that one goes over here. Is that right? No, because see, look, there's a scratch right down at the very base. Oh, of that you're end. right. That one has to go right there then. Yeah. yeah. And then, wait, this one? Yeah, that one's there. And that means this one goes here. That one goes here. Should... Nope. No, I think you had it right. Yeah, I think, that's I it. think this Just is play it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it works. Our happy day, remember Mia? I remember! Tweezers! Tweezers! Oh, is this how- Oh, Chris! Is that all we got in here? We got tweezers. Oh, tweezers how you remove the bandages. I don't think so. Tweezers, tweezers, tweezers. I don't think tweezers are how you remove the bandages. That's how we do it. This is how Mike has taken control. So, what? Nope. Oh. Aww. That's a weird painting. Tweezers, 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 tweezers. Yo, I got the tweezers for you, baby. What do you got here? Hold on. Examine. Hold on. Examine. Can you there use you the tweezers on the on that thing? Nope, that's how no, I can't nope, do anything nope, with it. No, 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 ignoring that, ignoring that. I have tweezers, baby. Ooh, that's a picture. Examine eyes. I already did that. Examine this. There we go. We have tweezers. The bandages are too tough. Boo! Boo! Well, then what do I use the tweezers for? This hmm. game sucks. Anything in the leg? Whoa. No, that was just that's just things moving around. It, okay, it, it happens. Okay, tweezers, tweezers. Okay, uh, anything in the uh, oh, uh, examine, examine the mouth. mouth. Use the tweezers. Open mouth. There it is. Use the tweezers. Tweezers. And then that film is gonna go back in that other room. Shoot the bandages. Problem solved. Well, I don't have a gun right now. Would you like control this game again, Zach? Sure. Uh oh. There's the figment of your imagination. What if Mia, the hallucination, starts coming after you and you have to hide from your own in mind? But because it's in your mind, it knows exactly where you are at all times. That'd be kind of cool. And okay, okay, Rosie. okay. So, Rose's best friend in the whole world. She really likes this fairy tale. The most important thing in the world to us a wedding gift from grandma, proof of Ethan's everlasting love to me. Make gun. Make, craft a gun, sure. Um, um, the wedding gift is last. Last the uh, wedding ring is last one. Yep. That's a wedding gift from Grandma. That is that number two, I believe. What was the, what was the list? Okay, well, that one. Okay. So I think two has to be swapped with three, and that'll be that. Rose's best friend is a doll. The most important thing in the world is Rose. Two is she likes that fairy tale. Is that right? Yeah, okay, that's all right then. That's all good. Okay, okay. Bricks are like shifting around. Everything looks weird. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's the well. Apparently we're watching the movie The Ring. Uh-huh. Who even uses 10 millimeter film anymore? It's eight millimeter. Who even uses the metric system anymore? I do. Yeah, apparently we're watching the movie The Ring. Okay. Do we have seven days to live now? <laughs> oh no, I broke it. A secret passageway behind a bookshelf. Who could have seen this coming? Well, I wasn't expecting it, but it's not really out of the question here. Dolls! Hey, mannequins, those are creepy as hell. I certainly hope they don't come to life. Give me them scissors. Hey, there we go. Also, what's this down here? Snip, snip. Snip. Are we back at the mannequin room or is this a new area? Oh, oh this must be a new area. Okay. Oh, what's that phone? Hello, operator. You won't believe what's happened. I've gotten trapped in this room. Hello, operator. Connect me with connect me with Cincinnati. Yes, Cincinnati on the line. Ho. Oh, yes, you won't believe this. This place is haunted. New phone, who this? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> New landline, who this? Oh, of course. Of course the phone rings as soon as I walk away from it. Hello, is this the operator? Cincinnati! Please, Ethan, listen to me. I didn't want to keep it from you. Mia? I didn't want to lose you again. I didn't want to destroy this family. Mia, what are you talking about? I love you both so much. I had to. I had to do it. Mia's been keeping secrets. Keeping secrets, Sam. <laughs> you know what Chris said about that? Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets, you get the gun. Blah, 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 blah. And then he shot her. Hey, Zach, it's rattling. Open up. Open up. I don't have the thing that goes in there. Oh, we need insignia. Keeping secrets heavy. Well, we got the scissors. We know, we know what we gotta do with it. Hey, we unlocked that one. That's nice. 
Hey. There's a person over there. Ah, uh, but they're... Oh. oh. They're gone. And they... Are they hiding in the... Stop falling off the ceiling. Damn it. Okay, well, anyway, let's uh, take a look at this mannequin's chest. Snip, snip. Hope you're not indecent under here. Ah, uh, who are we kidding? We know you are. Snip, snip. There's the depression. Grab your wife's boob to put it in there. Oh, nope. Thing underneath the boob. All right. The brass medallion. Deleted the series finale of Arrow, you bitch. <laughs> Ooh, staticky noises. I can't turn it off. Bud. That was bud. Well, there we go. Complete the door. You have to fit it in the exact indentation? No? Okay, cool. It's dark. Oh, of course, now you use your flashlight. Oh, yeah, now I use a flashlight. Oh, I bet there's gonna be a well down there. I bet there's gonna be a well. Hey, guys, there's gonna be a well. Why do you think that? Because you should watch the video where there's a well down there? Yeah. You think we're gonna have to go down the well? Probably. Ooh, baby carriage? Yeah, nothing in it. Just a creaky baby carriage. Just rocking. Candelabras. All right. Wait, didn't we see this in Resident Evil 7 too? Probably. Uh, we had to go in the sewers in that game, I think. Would either of us want kids? No. Uh, probably not. Breaker box key, hooray! That's what we can use. Oh, a bunch of mannequins down here again. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Hello, Clarice. Oh, did someone just put a lid over the well? Baby noises! No, but they broke the baby carriage. Also, you're hallucinating baby noises. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. God, why does my hallucination have to be so annoying? Every great one yearns for a surrogate. How much did the voice actor get paid to make these annoying baby noises? Because it was too much! Behold, a pale blood sky! Ooh, now everything's red over here. Cool. So what do you think the mannequin enemy's gimmick is gonna be? I don't know. Does she possess actual dolls? It'll, it'll be, be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. <gasps> That's weird. Okay, can, um... I don't is that, like that. Is that supposed to be a baby or something? Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. That's well, weird. We'll just run away from that, maybe hide. Ew, it's umbilical cord. It's like all the way back here. Oh, gross. Is it chasing you now? Is it still chasing me? Yeah, it is. Can you, you probably hide in the, in the closet or something. Can you... Yeah, there we go. That way we can watch it from the safety of the locker. And it doesn't... It, it's... <laughs> that, that, that wasn't that scary. You having fun out there, baby? Oh boy. Does the baby know how to open doors? With, does it, yeah. Oh god, it's horrifying. That's real gross. That's, I mean, it's kind of gross. God, it's disgusting. Oh god, it's so bad. The snot is really gross. All right, so that's some weird, horrific, horrific design. Oh, is it just gonna stay in this room now? Dang it. Is it gonna open up the door and kill you? Go into a different room, baby. Okay, Dada. Thank you. This is just PT now, it's Outlast. Is it PT though, um. really? Okay, oh, oh, can we go, can we, uh, can it follow us through that hole? I wonder. I don't know, but... It might be too big for the hole. I think. All right, so we gotta get to the breaker box. Things are too dark, I can't see what's going on. Ah, yes, breaker box is right there. Sweet, sweet. Found the baby! Found the baby, gotta love me! No, no, I do not. Relief of child. Wedding right. ring. Can't get it working without a fuse. Gotta go find a fuse for the uh, electrical right. box now. 
Welcome to Resident Evil Village, where we have vampiric mommy milkers and giant zombie fetus. Yeah? Not wrong. So where, where's the fuse gonna be then? We got the bus, where's the bus well, gonna Well, because I have to get through this door right here. Uh-huh. Get out of here, doll. I know you're the one doing this. There you go. Reunite the bus. There we go. There you go. Yeah. All right. Be nice and quiet. We wouldn't want zombie baby to find us. Zombie baby. A zombie baby. Zombie baby. I don't know what that is. Brassic Gibcos. It's a sauce. <laughs> Congratulations. Mm. Yes, yeah, Zach still vase, but not for long. Yeah, I'm gonna be quitting eventually. Yes, we do stream. Hello, some random dog. We're trying to escape from this baby now. Let's see. So we, we use the bus. Now we gotta find out. Oh, there you go. Something's hiding in this room. Oh. What is? Oh, I can hide under the bed. Oh, I wonder if that's gonna come in handy. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. Oh, is that a fuse right there? I'm gonna open this. Uh huh. I bet you See the baby's gonna. Else. I bet you're gonna grab that thing. The baby's gonna come in this room, or it's gonna make noises, and you have to hide under the bed. Oh, I actually can't see. You. Oh, okay. And as soon as you hide in the bed, the baby's gonna come in and check that locker. No? Yes. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Maybe I jumped the gun on this one. I'm pretty sure the baby's gonna come in here. It's gonna chase you. Oh, you're gonna leave the hallway. You're gonna go down the hallway, and the baby's gonna corner you. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, you know what? You're probably not wrong. <laughs> That's how this set piece is gonna play out. Yeah. Yes. Tell me yes. I'm right. Tell come on. Let's see. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? There's the baby. We knew it. I knew it. I called it. Can't pull one over. Oh, you can stand at the end of this table and watch it come in the room, huh? Can you? There's the baby. Where's the baby now? Da -da! There's the baby. Da -da! Da -da! I look like the guy. I look like that guy in in RoboCop when he gets covered in toxic waste. Yeah, here we go. He turns out the light because he's smart. That's me, I'm Dada. Now he's not gonna look under the bed, but I wonder if he's gonna open that locker. We'll have to see. Yes. Yeah, it's making gross baby noises, which are actually just regular baby noises. Yeah. Ah, uh, you see, if you had been facing the other way, you would have seen him go into that locker. We can hear him at least, though. Baby doesn't know I'm here. Oh, no, you better start running. <laughs> Yeah, now he knows you're here. It heard you turn on the flashlight. Well, luckily you're faster than a baby. Easy right. enough. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Is this, the, is this the scary part everybody was talking about? It might be, yeah. Like I said, this- Wait, what? Oh, the fuse box. Like I said, this is probably a scarier game if you weren't just playing and commentating and laughing the whole time. If you were trying to do this normally in the quiet of just playing through it quietly, maybe it's scarier. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like it wouldn't be. There goes the fuse. Uh. Oh, baby's no, here. Okay, baby's like not us. taking candy from a baby. Uh, maybe you can juke him around the chair. Yeah, yeah. Um, where gonna... was the exit here? Just juke, him, just juke him around that. There you go. There you go. That's right. That's right. Yeah, in games like Outlast, uh, the enemy is usually faster than you, which makes it scarier. <laughs> this is as horrific as that is. But really a threat. I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to do right now. Um... No, no. What are we supposed to do? We got the wedding key. We got the bust. We got the... Hmm. We need to find a fuse, right? No, I found the fuse. It's in the fuse box. Okay, what? Why didn't? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to take the elevator up. No. Uh, uh, you sure? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You have to, because there's nothing else to do down here. The game probably assumed you would take the elevator. Collect rows one of four. Oh, we already got one of them. That's true. 
Ah, it's nice and quiet under the bed. There we go. Nah. Okay, so he's gonna come in here again. Mm -hmm. Back to where we were before. Did you know that almost all cultures have Ma as the uh, indicator of mother? I have heard that. Because Ma is pretty much the first sound a baby can make because it's more complicated to make things with your lips and everything. Yeah. So Ma, and then Ba Ba or Da Da is usually father or Da Da. Ba Ba Ba. Hold on, hurry up baby. Hurry up and kill me, I'm under the bed. You think he's gonna learn that you're under the bed? Is he gonna adapt? Maybe. If he peeks under the bed, oh, nah. Nah. Oh, he's crying, Zach, he misses you. Zach, he wants a hug. Have I tried nicotine gum? Yeah, I have, I, it's fucking terrible. I can't do nicotine gum. It all tastes like crap and it makes my mouth numb. You hate horror games? Well, this is, um... If you hate horror games for being so scary, this is the game for you because so far, it's been pretty tame. It hasn't been terribly oh, horrifying. What? Oh, no, that's a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. So, In back... this hallway... Yeah. Can I use the elevator now? I'm guessing you can. I'm guessing that's what the fuse is for. There you go, green button. Hit the button. And leave the area. There you go. <laughs> oh no, the baby's here! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh god, your breath is terrible. <laughs> Bye, baby! That was almost some dead space garbage right there. Baby busts down the door and gets to you. Yeah. <sighs> Luckily, it can't take the stairs because there aren't any stairs here. We don't know that. Where's my gun? Oh, baby took the stairs. Oh, is that the baby? Or is that the demonic mannequin? It's the demonic doll. Or is it a little column A, little column B? Yes. That door was locked, you couldn't go through it, huh? Yep. Okay, that went out. All right. Why'd you stop laughing? The real horror was the elevator we repaired along the way. Mannequins? Many dolls! Oh, losing control now, what's going on? Huh. Don't leave. I can't let you. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Uh, am I gonna lose a hand again? <laughs> yeah. Ethan Winter's special. Weren't there supposed to be mannequins coming to life like this in the original version of Resident Evil 4? There was, yeah, so I'm wondering if they took a bunch of cues from Resident Evil 4. Yeah, this is like almost like a hom homage to Resident Evil 4, isn't it? Yeah, because like the original... The original Resident Evil 4 played a lot differently than it turned out to be. It was more yeah. like classic horror style. And since we have returned to classic horror style, maybe all those notes for Resident Evil 4 have resurfaced and become part of this game. I mean, that is pretty cool. Oh, these dolls are twitching. Yup. They're all jittery. Yeah. Wait, well, yeah, some of the dolls are jittery, but others aren't. Some of them are just calmer than others, I guess. That one had way too much caffeine. Too much caffeine in this doll. Okay, we've gone in a circle. We're no longer being chased by a baby. We're just being laughed at by dolls. Okay. Yep. I'm supposed to be figuring out which one of these dolls is... Is one of them a fake one or something? Oh, hello! Oh, oh, right! Again, Ethan! Again with this! Oh, this time we got the arm, too. Okay. Okay. Well, apparently I have a limited amount of time to figure out which one of the dolls is... Oh, and if you don't do it, that happens? I guess? Which doll is the real doll? Not, not a real doll, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's not so much scary as it is frustrating, because <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. We're being laughed at by annoying dolls, though. That's not gonna get old. Oh, there she is. Mad Father 2, Electric Boot. There you go. Oh no, you bit my finger? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Stab the mannequin. Why did it have blood? Maybe, right, well now I gotta find her again. Maybe that was just more of Ethan's blood. This this kind of reminds me of that one fight in Metal Gear Solid 4 with the octopus. That was a really cool fight. Oh man, that was the one of the best fights in any video game ever. With a laughing octopus in, yeah. in 4? Yeah, that was a really good one. Metal Gear Solid had some pretty awesome boss fights. Who could forget the end of Sniper Battle from Metal, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3? That was another really good one. Ah, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I, mm, yeah, not feeling this whole mystery thing right here, this whole it's, scary vibe. It's okay, it's just not as... Oh, there it is, not oh, it. there she is. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to like this. We're finally starting to get into things that I like about this game. We're running around trying to hunt down mannequins so we can stab them with some scissors and they start bleeding and screaming at us and insulting us. This is fun. I like it. I'm down for this part of the game. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you hiding now? I mean, it's pretty cool. Maybe, oh, would it, would it be a real treat if they were hanging from the ceiling? No one would expect that. No one could find you. There she is. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty obvious. Don't stab! Please don't stab me again! No, please! Please! Whoa, I don't like what ah! the fuck? <laughs> Stupid idiot! What are you doing to my cute friend? Uh, stabbing him. <laughs> That was a fun boss fight. All right. Oh. Oh, damn. Jeez. All right. It's over. Well, that one's gone. What the mannequin's still here, though. What was that inside of her? Yeah. We'll, we'll make things right. She swallowed it, so she, you couldn't get your hands on it. What? Oh, there it is. Hey. I need to get out of this place. She did. Okay. Place your bets now. What body part are we gonna get in this jar, Zach? Um, legs. I was gonna say Rose's heart. Let's see. Oh, also we got a little key here. Combine it with the four-winged key. Or, oh, the baby part. Yeah, there you go. Yay! So that's who's behind all this. The left leg of Exodia. <laughs> hey, it's the weird creepy doll. Uh, we can sell that too. Probably. Oh, uh, what if you kept all these- Oh, good, guns? I finally have my gun! Where, where were they? You're just rooting around in the- I was just wildly hallucinating. You were rooting around in the in the, uh, the bowels of that woman as she turned the paper straps there. Yes. Oh, my guns! Legs, huh? Zach still like feet, confirmed. Hey! <gasps> Excuse me. I hiccuped. Mike hiccuped. Oh, walk over the dead body. There we go. So what do we got? What do we got? Oh, I was right! Eggs. Dang it. Look who was right. That means arms are gonna be the next one and then torso is the last one. Probably. Can we go downstairs and kill the baby monster? I don't think so. I don't think we can actually go downstairs. I think that was all just a hallucination and okay. there's not actually a downstairs. Okay, that's fair. And then the third boss is gonna be that really gross, ugly person. He's gonna have the torso. And you're getting the torso from him. And then the fourth guy is gonna be that one guy who's like supposedly the worst of the worst. He's gonna have baby arms. You, yeah, Ethan's, Nicolas Cage. Yeah, Ethan's gonna be like, yo, give me back my baby's arms. And Nicolas Cage is gonna be like, yeah, you want your baby's arms? I don't have a need for them. Why do I look the kind of guy who would need baby arms? Not me. Only weirdos need baby arms. We did it. Congratulations. We got. Yay! That we got, wasn't that spooky. We got half your baby. Thanks, Samson. Or whatever the king is that saw the baby in half, I guess, references. Magneto played by Nicolas Cage. Yes, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
You painted up your lips and rolled and curled your tinted hair. Ruby, are you contemplating going out somewhere? The shadows on so the wall like, tell me the sun the is going down. Oh, Ruby, I don't take your love to town. It wasn't me who started that whole crazy Asian war. But I was proud to go and do my patriotic chore. I guess it's true that I'm not the man I used to be. Oh, Ruby. I still need some company. Ooh, treasure! The sun and moon ball! Uh, oop, that guy was, uh, that guy was just pretending to be dead. Oh, boy. He was laying down? That's the oldest trick in the book. Oh, there's more of them. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm the vampire. Tasty shoulders. I love delicious shoulders. Really? Malingara. <laughs> Good man. <coughs> All right. Kill him and take his gunpowder and run. No, I want to kill them. Okay, I guess you can take up the scrap out of them when you're done. I think there's one more to your left, too. And one more to your right. Don't, don't forget about that one to your left, though. Yes, that one. There you go. Nailed him. There you go. Nice. Right. He's dead. All right, pick up all the garbage. Cam fluid, her breast, her, her, her. breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I say breast milk? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> uh, All right, let's get in this house. Somebody's got mommy milkers on the mind. Uh -huh. Ooh. Hello. Uh, Rummington 870? Uh, okay. Break. Take a mine. I am interested in this. I hear screaming outside, but oh yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna try out a new shotgun on them. You gotta make room for it now, huh? Hmm. Well, I have room. There you are. There you. Hey, buddy, are. what's up? Mossberg Whoops. 590. No, it's not a Mossberg 590. It's a Remington 870. We've been over this. Hey! Knocked him down. Take the money. You reload this much faster. Hmm. You reload this much faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have we met the lady yet? Y yeah, <laughs> yes, we met the lady. What lady? I'm guessing they were talking about Dimitriescu. She dead. Oh, yeah, she's dead. She ain't never coming back. Because vampires stay dead. Are you sure about that? It's a Remington 870. There's no way it's a Mossberg. I mean, <laughs> Zach would know if it were a Mossberg. I would know. And it isn't. Alright, so we got that. Well, I wonder if he was saying, are you sure about her never coming back? Oh, could be. Yeah. But I said it sarcastically because, you know, I never know in this game, vampire. It's not like anybody's ever come back from death in the Resident Evil universe. Oh, no, no one's ever come back from death. Let's start naming people. Ada came back from the dead. Now it's your turn. Um, Leon. Did Leon die? I don't know. No, but I'm uh, no. Who else came back? Who else came back from the dead in Resident Evil? Wesker. Wesker definitely. That's number one on the list. Yep. That's um, what I was gonna say. Wesker came back from the dead multiple, multiple times. Mm-hmm. Uh, Not just once. Barry. Barry fell down. Got killed. Got taken out <sighs> by that one girl. What did he? I have a conundrum that only you two can solve. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow for work, but I want to stay for the stream. What should I do? Go to bed, Icons Game Room. You can watch the VOD later. Thanks. Photo of a strange bird. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll upload this to YouTube in like three days or so, so if you can't watch the entirety, that, that's fine. Hey, hey! Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I don't remember in Resident Evil 1 where Barry gets grabbed by the one creature lady, the one lady, monster, and then they, you have to move four pillars. Well, I mean, he doesn't really get gra He doesn't die there, though. Yeah, exactly. He gets grabbed, and they fall off, and then nope. he comes back later. No, he only... He doesn't get grabbed and fall off. He only gets grabbed and fall off if you don't give him 
Oh no, oh no, oh, oh. Ooh, nice save. Ooh. Oh, was that the non-canonical bad ending where he does yeah, actually die? Yeah, that's, that's the, the non-canonical ending. Cry, oh, oh, oh. I will miss you both. Have fun and don't break too much. Thank Good you. Good night all. The Onyx Skull. Thank you, Icons Gamer. Uh, Thank you. Doesn't Barry actually come back in Resident Evil? That's absolutely a Remington 590 tactical. Yes, what, whatever you're saying is is what it is. Maybe he truly believes that. Maybe it, maybe it's modeled after the wrong gun. They mislabeled it, Zach. Oh, here, let's examine it. Doesn't Barry come back in subsequent games, though? I, I think they would... mention him, but I don't think he actually comes back. Like, it, is that an out? Is okay. So I thought maybe they had established that Barry surviving is the canonical ending, but maybe they haven't. Maybe, maybe it's a Metal Gear Solid Two situation where uh, they left it ambiguous as to Meryl's fate. But then a Meryl does eventually survive, and Meryl. Yeah, Meryl. Right. Talk about uh, talk about Metal Gear Solid. Because in Metal Gear Solid Two, how, what how did you just go from from Resident Evil to Metal Gear Solid? I'm talking about how the games treat a character as if they could both be alive or dead, like in Metal Gear Solid 2, where they don't... Oh, okay. They kind of leave it ambiguous as to Meryl's fate, even though it was officially canonized in the fourth game. Hmm. Maybe that's how they did it for Barry. Does Barry... Doesn't Barry come back? I feel like Barry came back in the, in the subsequent game. I don't know. Maybe he does. He appears in Revelations 2. There you go. Barry comes back from the dead, then. If Barry, if Barry dies in Resident Evil 1, he comes back in Re Revelations 2. Unless Revelations 2 is a prequel, in which case, it kind of shoots a hole in my theory. I don't know. Maybe it does. Is that everything that's in here? Barry comes back and kills Albert's sister. Eh. Cool. So, oh, there were explosive rounds. Who else? Who else? Um, <laughs> how about Jack Baker? Does he ever die and come back? Yes. <laughs> Resident Evil 3 PS1 ending. Okay, Barry comes back for that too, apparently. So apparently, Mistress Donna, who was the uh, who was the doll lady, uh -huh. was using yellow flowers to cause people to have hallucinations. Oh, that's the exhalation they're giving, eh? Yeah. Alrighty then. All right, away we go to the Duke. Yes. We sell him the shotgun we're no longer using because now we got a Remington 870, which is the best shotgun. It's like a combination of an 870 and a Mossberg 500. It's got like the magazine cap from a Mossberg. Mm-hmm. But it has like the receiver and pump of an 870. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like a combination of the two of them. Oh, they've been replaced with uh with like weird hanging bodies now. Hello, how you doing? Take that. Probably not so great because you just shot him in the head. Yeah, he's probably not doing so. Oh no, he seems to be fine. Oh, Oops. he ducked it. Oh, Ow, you made me waste two shotgun shells. How rude of you. What a jerk. Well, you are intruding on his forest. It's true, I am. This is his forest. You should have just run through it as fast as you could. I speak for the trees, he says, as I dump a 12 so gauge round into his face. Essentially. Kit bashed? It could be. Oh, that one's coming out of the snow. Not very fast, though. No, it took him a while. Oh. And, oh, there's a there's a little box. Uh-huh. It had money. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's there's another oh, okay, I my my greed is outweighing my <laughs> Your desire to survive? Yeah, my greed's outweighing my my will to live. <laughs> Ow. Life isn't worth living if I have to live poor! And down you go. Grab his skull. Right. My, my sense of self-preservation is being outweighed by my greed. Oh, goodness. It's okay. I got some medicine I can pour on my arm. That's how doctors fix problems. Oh, hey. Green jewel. An emerald. Vivante. So, what are we doing right now? Um, We're going back to the Duke. Okay, then. Can you speed run to the Duke? Yeah, oh, oh, maybe. They say money can't buy happiness, but money can buy guns and crab ragoons. That's true. I like how he said ragoons. <laughs> that was very, that was like a very, that was a very, like, eloquent. Yeah, it was a very crab ragoons. Hoity toity. Oh, ho. Hello. Oh, you got a little doll there. Does this look familiar to you? Eh, a little. Oh. Take care. Sorry, I forgot to do something really quick. 
We gotta save. Oh, I gotta organize everything first. I gotta. Um, oh, you combine things. Yeah, yeah, I gotta combine things. So we got the necklace with two holes. I still don't have anything to combine with it, but we can combine, combine those two together. There you go. Um, and we got the onyx skull. You can sell the uh, the wooden goat that you've assembled. If it's just no. A window shop away. I, I'm saying it as an option. I will never sell. I will never sell Poncho the goat. <laughs> All right, you need the Poncho. It is fi worth fifteen lay, though. I don't care. Poncho's Poncho is a far greater treasure. Worth more than that, huh? Very well. Ah, Miss Angie, just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. Are they really, though? I probably shouldn't have sold him the... I've the... procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. I probably shouldn't have sold him the doll and the other doll at the same time, because... Uh... Seriously, Pancho the goat? Yeah, his name's Pancho! Yeah, I like it. Why shouldn't you have sold it to him? Uh, I shouldn't have sold them to him at the same time. Why not? Uh, because he probably had a unique dialogue about each one. Uh, I think he did. All right, well... And we're gonna sell the old shotgun, I guess. Mm hmm. Well, uh, so I can upgrade it to. Yeah, we'll sell the old shotgun. All right, all right. We'll upgrade this one. There we go. Upgrade the reload speed. Ah. And upgrade the ammo capacity. All right. Well, while, while you're doing all of that, I got nothing. So Zach has decided that we're going to play some Resident Evil 8, and I'm down for that because it's a pretty fun game, really popular right now. He's looking at it. He's having some fun with it. But we also need to spend some time recording you more Fallout. A you guys... farewell to arms. Oh, a farewell to arms. Because you have to say goodbye to your gun. Because I sold the gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was the joke. You guys want some more Fallout 4? Because it's been a while since we had some Fallout 4 on the channel. I personally want to get through the frontier pretty quick because we've gotten a lot of the side quests done, but we still haven't done any of the main NCR quest. Ooh, an improve, improved grip for the M1911. And a stock for the shotgun. All right. Hmm. You want Fallout Tactics instead. <laughs> I hope this one makes itself. There we go. You want Frontier done and more Fallout 4. Why could you have a little bit of both? A little bit of both. We used to have both of them going together, but I just, just kind of ran out of Fallout 4 in the inventory. Yeah, unfortunately. But on the plus side, Zach Securing is moving closer next weekend, and I'm only going to be working my day job anything, for a little bit longer. So hopefully we'll have more time to do stuff. We'll be able to do streams like this and record more Fallout and have time for me to edit it. That would be great. Stop, su su stop suggesting Fallout Brotherhood is Steel. It's not going to happen. I think I tried that for about two hours and I said hell no immediately. Yikes. Is that one like the worst one or something? It feels like it's the worst that I've ever played. Good day then. All right, save. Honestly, all those isometric Fallout games, they're all pretty terrible. Ooh, don't let some people hear that. Oh, they, we just said that on stream. They're, they're all pretty terrible. People look at them with fond nostalgia in their eyes, but they play pretty terribly. If it, were, if it weren't rooted in Fallout's lore, if it were just some kind of games, no one would ever bother with them. I really wish... Ooh. Oh, boy! Oh. oh, boy! This is not what I expected to happen! One of them tells lies, the other tells truths. Guess who's lying? Is it the werewolf? It might be the werewolf. Oh boy, this this sucks. This sucks. I don't like this. He's gonna bite your leg off. You're, this is like, oh my god, I feel like I'm in the movie The Revenant. The bear again. Ah, they can't open doors. Oh, we don't have a door. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's the crazy werewolf creature. Get fuck off. Oh god. Mm -hmm. This is bad. I don't like this. The wounds are severe. It won't last. I won't last much longer. I can hear it shuffling outside. It barely flinched when I shot it. I feel like it's toying with me. This isn't a wolf. Still, I won't lie down like a dog. If I can get to the old windmill, I can stop it. I can protect you. I'm so close. Damn, I'm cold. My legs don't work. Sorry, Louisa. Please forgive me. That must be Louisa's husband. Are we still in the original part of the village? Yeah, we're back in the village. Okay, but now there's a new enemy there. Yes. So we're going to make things a little more difficult to deal with. Going to make navigating around tough. I like this the actual threat in the game. You have to avoid. 
Ah, climb to the top of the roof and try and jump down from there, huh? Hopefully it can't get up here. Um, well, it looks like it's not interested in coming up here right now. I don't think that's gonna do much to it. I think this might be an immortal enemy. Oh boy, oh boy! Okay, well, uh, you don't wanna, okay, well. I wouldn't have wasted my time going for that because that thing is gonna be a pain to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, can't get in here, can ya? Don't tempt him, he probably can. Oh. It's all right, I have a vague idea of what I'm doing. I probably shouldn't have come over here yet, though. Uh, is he trying to get it? Okay, no, he's not coming in here. Good, 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 good. Okay, all right. Woo. All right, so coming here was a bad plan. Um, I should have gone back into the village. You haven't, you haven't used your landmines for anything. Now might be. I don't have a landmine right now. All right. The one game I would want to see you guys play is Octodad, Dadliest Catch. Dadliest. Let's see how you two share an octopus body. Mm -hmm. Well, can we play that game where we each control a different thing? Because Possibly. that's gonna that's gonna end up in us not being friends anymore. <laughs> Hey, remember when you and I tried to play Banjo Kazooie? Oh man, but that I, went so badly. Where I was trying to control Banjo and you were trying to control Kazooie? That went <laughs> so not well. No, it didn't. But then again, we only gave it like an hour or two of practice. I bet if we had done it a little longer, we could have gotten the I hang of it. I think the game kept breaking though, didn't That's it? That's true. We were running it on an emulator and it was very unstable. Um, I don't know where Wolf is, but this is not good. Well, it's probably to your left because that's where I hear all the snarling. Oh god, there's there's guys in here. Okay, um, um, all right, well, shit. If you shoot it, it's gonna draw the werewolf's attention, sadly. I'm guessing. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, just blow him away. Get out of my way. Oh, nice. Got him. Yeah, you did. You can go up there. Oh. I think as long as he doesn't see you, it's gonna be fine up here. Hmm. Kind of in a dead end right now. I hope he yeah. doesn't come up the stairs. He better come up the stairs. Is he in the building? Ooh! No, there he is, though. Okay, okay. Oh, I think he might have put seen you. Is he, is he in the building to your left? Did he come out that window that you... Oh, oh, oh there. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy! Duck back in the window! Woo! 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 Is he gonna come? Is he going Okay, come? well, if he's gonna come through here. Okay, I gotta check the map real quick. We need to just sprint straight across. Go, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly. I can hear him right on your heels. Does he know you're in here now, though? Is he, was he fast enough to catch up to you? Oh, I have four pipe bombs, though. Okay, so you also got some bombs. You got one landmine, I see. Oh, I do have a landmine. I thought you'd been collecting them and hoarding them or something like that, but no, you just got the one, huh? All right. So now we have an actual werewolf to deal with. Thoughts on Fallout 76? Well, we'll play it someday, I'm sure. All right, so we need to go right into that building. Is that where we need to go? Yes. So just go straight to the left? Here you run. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh, I forget how to get over there. I think he might hear you run. He probably can. That building is destroyed. You can't take a left there, can you? No. Oh, I can run up the creek. I can run up the creek. Oh, okay. Once this guy goes away. Now things are starting to get a little intense. As long as he doesn't look through this the This part is actually, uh, like, in my opinion, this part is actually a little bit scarier. Yeah, because... Than the last part. This is, this is probably the first part where you're off this freaking rails. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Zach. Oh, nice sneaky. work. E e e e e e e. <laughs> Snee. Oh, Snee. Snee. I tried to... Um, I saw what you tried I to I tried do. to cook the grenade. <laughs> I tried to cook the grenade. Oh. Uh, you tried to hold, you were holding on the button and he auto threw it, did he? Yep. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> Craft more bombs. Think he knows where you are now? Probably, he just heard a freaking grenade go off. 
What the? What the hell is all this green crap, Moss? Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't know I'm here yet. I don't know if he can hear you running either. It did say to get to the wind. To music plays. Improbable. Oh, task. Uh, Mission impossible. Like Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It did say that once I got to the water wheel, there was a thing to destroy the, uh... There was a thing, there was a thing that could kill this. Right, which is why we were going here in the first place. Yes! Oh, you finally got a grenade launcher! Oh, hell yes. Oh, you gotta make room it's, for it's it. It's fine, I can, I can do, I can work with this. We don't have room for it. Oh, it's so sad, you have to no, have room for it. No, we do have room yeah. for it. I'm not leaving this thing behind. Ah, uh, you're fine without it. I bet you you can kill it just by ignoring it. You know, it uh, it it uh, if you ignore it, it goes away. You know? No, God! Ah, you did it again! Oh! Ah, yes, yes. Inventory management not perfect. Mm. Okay. Yay! Yes! Ooh, look at that filigree! Yes! <laughs> and I will say right now. I know tactical engravings offer no advantage whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But look how fucking badass this thing looks. <laughs> yeah. Explosive power of 1200. Oh my god, I want an M79 with like gold leaf engraved on the barrel. Looks nice. Oh, look at that horse in that stock there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now we kill this thing with an actual grenade launcher, huh? All right. What does it say? Oh, I, don't, I don't have any of the flashbang grenades. Ah, flashbang is out. That is okay. Okay, so we're going to reload this. Get those bullets out of my inventory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Equip this the thing. mine. Put that down. Uh huh. Get his attention. Actually, I'm going to pick that back up. Yeah, don't step on it. Put it down here, maybe. Oh, there he is, there he is. There he is, there he is. Okay, so don't worry, this is a great plan. This is a great plan. You say that, do you think water will set it off the landmine? I don't know. No, I think it'll be fine. All right, so we got the landmine. In real life, you probably don't want to do that, though. Well, put it in the water? Yeah. It'd be okay. You think the pressure, you know, like- maybe... I think it would still be fine. Okay, okay. Where did he go? <laughs> I thought you were gonna run on top of your landmine and set it off. I don't think- oh, oh, There he is. Ethan, you limp-wristed fool. You see the way he just kind of slapped it and didn't actually lob it at the enemy? Yeah, that was a really weak throw. And apparently he didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. This is another ordinary day. Whoa! This that's God. one! That's one! Genius. Oh, and you set up your own landmine, it looks oh. like. Well, okay. I didn't even need to use the grenade launcher on him because he just exploded. One, is, one was all it took, apparently. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations! So I, just, I wasted I wasted three pipe bombs and a landmine. And a landmine. But on the plus side, it's dead. So, good job. Well, okay. Ah, <sighs> all right. So that enemy is dead. No longer a scary threat. Yep, he is gone. So, uh, oh, you got a key for that? Yep, I have a key for that room now. But we're not gonna go in there. Why can't I open this door? It's like, it do the store doesn't open from that, uh, you know what? That's where you came from, remember? Let's try something. Remember the old lady came from there and locked you behind? You're like, damn, you old lady, let me out. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, how many pipe bombs do I have left? I'm out of pipe bombs. Okay. I was gonna try to blow the door open with a pipe bomb, but ah. Uh, you can use a grenade. See what happens. Nothing. Fuck it. <laughs> that gate is locked forever and it's dumb. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> What the hell was that? Is that a mod you put in? No, that was perfect timing when someone did a big, do big donation. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fucking flawless. <laughs> Somebody needs to clip that. Thank you, Letherington. Thank you. That was absolutely flawless. Wow, to the millisecond on that. <laughs> if that isn't a mod, somebody get on making it one. That's gonna get annoying after a while, but still. Oh my god, that was good. <laughs> fucking, fucking fantastic. <laughs> uh, that was flawless. That was great. 
Hey, guess who's back? It's us. Hey, did you see that shit? I kind of want to do that part over again. Mike yeah. and Zach say hi to my friend Ty. Hello, Ty. Hello. I'm, I, somebody has to have clipped it if it hasn't been yet. Anyway, yeah, we got the shotgun. Wait, what are you smoking anyway? You know, that's not good for your health. Also being morbidly obese, also bad for your health. You're not a very good role model, I must say. They're gonna take your feet. <laughs> you wanna reset and do that? I wanna do that over again. <laughs> that was a really cool part of the game. Hey, you, you got the game. You're gonna play it again at home eventually. <laughs> that's true. I don't need to do it over again now. Welcome. That was that was just absolutely perfect. Oh, it was good stuff. Can you say hi to Ty again? Her dumbass wasn't paying attention. Hey, Ty, stop being a dumbass. Pay attention. Pay attention, Ty. Um, apparently no. Wait, hold on. Do you guys plan to have another episode of Fallout 4 anytime soon? Yes. Also, I've been loving your Resident Evil Village streams. Thank you. We were just talking about Fallout 4. You must have missed the discussion we were having. Um, I don't... I'm not looking... I'm looking at my mod info, and I'm not seeing how I'm allowed to give you permission to post it, sadly. No, yeah, just post it in the subreddit, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you can clip it later after this is done. You can just go in, like... Oh, oh, there it is. Thank you, mod Rob. Thank you very much. Okay, so now it's our new goal. Kill out the next guy, a little piggy. Um, I got a pe I got, uh, a slab. Mm -hmm. That goes to the not the ceremony site. Oh, I have to go. I have to go back through Potter's Field. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. The Duke's mold power is uncontrolled diabetes. Yeah, he's yeah. Not great. That's not a good. That's not a good mold power. You don't want that power. We need to go this way. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Where you don't get to choose the stand you have and. Sometimes they're not all that great, and sometimes they try and kill you. Your stand tries to kill you? Oh, yeah, you, I forgot you haven't really seen that show. Not that part. No. That was the plot of the third season. Thank you for that, Mike. I appreciate it, lol. Also, hey. she called you guys assholes, Lamau. Hey, it's fine. I get called an asshole all the time. Yeah, I usually buy customers. <laughs> yeah, you get verbally abused by customers often. Yup. Really? Yeah. I can't believe assholes would shop at a gun store. Gee, what a surprise. So now... Look at this big black goat. He's real mad at me. Ow! Hey, thank you, Scarecrow. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Insane Penguin 21 is going to be so happy. I got meat, now I can probably make that food. Shoot that down. You can, oh, you can cook it all together in one big old pot. Yeah, I should finally be able to make food. All right. All right. So we have to go over to here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So is that our goal, is to cook up some food? Oh, eventually. Whoa. Take this all hope you all Whoa! Have Whoa! No, no, no! <laughs> no, 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 no! Uh, you need a little bit of health, eh? Yup, yup, yup! I'm probably gonna die, I'm probably gonna die! I got grenades, though! The executioner has arrived! Suck on this one! Um... Yeah... Okay, so two grenades, he's shrugging it off, he's shrugging it off. Three! And maybe a shotgun shell or two? Would I get him out of the way? No, he's just gonna be pretty pissed. Woo, nice dodge there, okay. So the werewolf is uh, a much weaker foe than this guy. Yeah, knife that guy, see what happens. All right. Oh, okay, he just slapped you a little. You're fine, you're fine. Did you need to go in that building that they're guarding right now? No, I needed to go to this grave site. Oh, so you need to kill this enemy before you can do anything, huh? Yeah, I think so. I might be able to just kind of spam the thing at the gravesite. Oh, th thank you! <laughs> Friendly fire! Ah, oh, yes, the sniper rifle, the high-powered sniper rifle. We haven't used it very often lately. Hey! Even on normal, these guys can take more than the grenades you have currently. Yeah, it's probably best if we just ignore him. He's just like a uh, pretty big tank. Okay, we got um, da, 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 well key, broken slab, broken slab. All right, got that put in there, and then oh, bro, the scrap. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, we got a chalice. All right, go run, 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 run. We got what we needed. Why did we get a chalice? Because it's worth money. That's it? I think so. I thought that was like needed to progress the plot, but I guess not, huh? All right. Well, I think we've escaped. We've outrun him. He's, he can't. He can't follow us. He hates those flower. I kind of hope so. <laughs> oh, brother. Thank you. For, right. Thank you for those ten thousand bits, though, Left the Ring Ten. Thank you very much. Well, that was a that was kind of a waste of a lot of ammo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but you live and learn, I suppose. Well, you didn't die. That's that's always good. Maybe uh, he'll show up again later. You can shoot him dead. Maybe there's like a weak point you'll, he'll be able to exploit later. Maybe. Killing the guy is worth more. So yeah, we'll have to try and kill him later, I guess. Or when you're playing this game by yourself next time, you can try and kill him and let me know how that yeah. works out for you. Mr. X's younger nudist brother. <laughs> okay, so let's look at what we got. All right. What do we have besides more meat? It's just a very valuable mm. chalice, huh? The wooden goat. My brain Necklace God. stone. Necklace with two holes. The crystal skull. All right. I have things to sell oh, you. Yes. And I wish to cook the this one. In terms of stands Thank that try to kill you, there's also cheap trick from part four. I don't remember that one. But yeah, there are a couple Let's of them. Let's get there. cooking. Yeah. Cooking music from Zelda plays. Mm-hmm. Here it is. The Mitsutai. Join me. Delicious. He just ate half of it. Health has increased <laughs> I permanent. Mind having that again. Oh, can you only make one of them? Okay. Oh, I think so. You can only make one of them that gives you permanent health bonuses. Good to know. All right, all right. All right, what do I need to add? We need more generic meat, some generic yep. culture. I have one generic meat that I can I can just add the generic meat to this one. Well, That's what does true. this do? I guess you add your inventory. Damage taken when guarding decreases permanently. Oh, well, whatever, <laughs> I never guard. Yeah. Probably low priority then. This one health greatly increases permanently. Mm-hmm. That's nice. But you gotta find some higher quality things around here. Yeah. So you guys both like this game that much that Zack even bought it for himself. That yep. makes me happy. Question is, where does this game lie on your top three games? Or even top game lists? Carry on. Mm, I, probably somewhere around the middle for both of I'm us. Maybe higher on Zack's list. Modifications and we'll do them for a small it might few. be higher on my, my list of Resident Evil games, but this probably isn't on my top games of all time list. No. Unless it's like top 20 games of all time or something. But. Not, not unless it gets really good at the very end. Because this game is competent, it's serviceable, it's quality, it's good, but... I don't know if I'm. It's, I don't think it's gonna be groundbreaking or anything. I'm gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna remember most of this game by the time we're done with I it. I just got here, so I probably missed it. What are Zach's thoughts on the revolver? What revolver? In general, how do you feel about revolvers? I. They're they're guns. <laughs> okay. That that's a thought. All right. Gotta sneak in some mods for Zach to find. Oh, that's true. Like I did with Resident Evil um, the remake. Game. Yeah, that's right. It's only been out for a week, though. Do they have a lot of mods for it? I know they have. I saw at least one of them. Yeah, we'll have to try and sneak in a few more, I suppose. Did he not find the revolver? Uh, nope. Haven't gotten that far. Or, yes, overlooked it. Yeah, either I overlooked it or we haven't gotten that far. Yep. So be it. Oh, I can make explosive rounds now. You gonna, are you going to make explosive rounds? No, I, need, I used the herb to make another healing salve. Okay, well, let's get going. We have to kill that little... I don't, I don't know what he is. I'm going to call him Piggy. I'm going to kill a little Piggy down there. There's a fucking Lady Thomas the Tank Engine mod. I, I've, I've seen. Of course there is. What do you guys like most about this game? Uh, what do you guys like the most about this game? I mean, there's been some really cool moments in it. Uh, you say that, but what's the one that stands out to you? Uh, The fight with that werewolf thing was pretty cool a minute ago. So... Oh, that was kind of neat. After um, five hours, you finally found a memorable moment. Mm. The whole castle part with Lady Dimitriescu was pretty cool. It wasn't bad. I enjoyed that. Yeah. I feel like this game has a lot of set pieces, and it's not my... I, it just might not be my kind of game. Going from set piece to set piece. I think that's probably my biggest turnoff from most games in general, now that I think about it. Yeah, but you don't like anything. That's, that's not true. 
You hate everything. I hate everything? Yeah. I think it's usually the opposite for me, but I think uh, these might be my, my kind of games. I don't, I don't know. I like I like the Uncharted series, and that's a lot of set pieces, too. But there's also a lot of uh, worlds that are a bit open. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I'm still trying to come to terms with what I don't much care for in this game. Maybe? it's It's got to be the lack of characters and the... Abundance of set pieces. I think set pieces with interesting characters works. Mike's just mad they made Chris a bad guy. That's true, too. I might just have an overbearing resentment from that one moment at the beginning of the game. It's colored my whole perception of this game poorly. Who did we fight last? Marionette Woman. Yeah, uh... Oh, Cheap Trick Donna. is the one that grabs on... Facts. I remember that one. Yep, that's terrible. Could you tell my friend Ty a quick reason why joining the military is a god-awful idea from your experiences? You know, if you pay attention to our YouTube channel, in the coming weeks we'll have another campfire story or two. That'll be all the reason you need once Zach tells you about all his concussions he's had. Yes, my many, many concussions. The ones that he doesn't get VA benefits for because yeah. they don't treat it like it's a real problem that he actually has because they never actually put it on my medical record so there's no proof that i had them yeah i look forward to that story hooray thanks military mm -hmm. so this village area is pretty much cleared out again crawling underneath here <laughs> turning everything into a mod here ethan i'm pickle rose oh god Mike wants a wonderful world of characters to bite into. That's true. I like, I really do enjoy games that have great characters. But it, it doesn't have to have great characters for me to enjoy the game because I like The Long Dark, which has very little in terms of characters. It's just a great, well made, crafted uh, survival game. So it doesn't have to have a lot of characters. Mike has very specific tastes do I? for games. Hmm. Maybe I do. Maybe I, I well, I don't, know, I, I, think, I don't think I'd say it's specific. If you want to please me, you got to have. Um, oh, if you want to please me, you gotta have one really great, well-designed, fun characters. Fun is important. I don't. There's there not a whole lot of fun characters. That baby, that screaming baby monster is kind of fun. Um, branching pathways and consequences for your actions. I love that. And uh, more of an open world to explore. Hey, I think Zero is here because he just gets to 25 tier one subs. Goodness, thank you, Zero. That is quite a lot on top of those uh, bits earlier. Thank you. I'm sure Gun Zero Deer will appreciate that, and if they don't, then go to hell. Do I like Happy stalker? birthday, twenty-seven nine seventeen. Stalker's all right. I've been here. Yeah, I know you've been here. Read. Um, if you haven't, if you really like the game Stalker, and you haven't, read the book Roadside Picnic, which is uh, what the video game is partially based on. Zack, stop projecting you hatred of everything onto Mike. No. Bless Zero for his tr drug trafficking money. We've already established that Zero is the heir to the uh, the Aglet fortune. His because his grandfather designed the plastic tips on the ends of shoelaces. Twenty-seven nine seventeen. Oh, another another code we gotta type in, huh? <laughs> Damn right I am. And it looks like there's actually a couple people in the chat that received those subs instead of just being randomly distributed to the wild out there. So, excellent. Good, good things. Uh, a steel... Hargrave? Thing. Har oh, and a high capacity mag. Yeah. Here, take the rest of my shekels. You guys deserve it. Ooh. You guys are the best and always make my day. Peace out, brothers. Thank you, Fat Owl. Oh, well, thank you. For all them shekels, those 300 shekels. Thank you very much. All right. So now you need to put that on your rifle. Mm hmm. So I'm only missing one upgrade part for the rifle, Enrique which is the scope. The Eagle. Enrique the Eagle. Oh, you named him. All right. I didn't, but that's a good name for him. Oh, Zero just did. Uh. Kreese Vulgar. Steel have res Oh, it's just treasure you can sell, huh? Yeah. All right. It's made of steel. <sighs> Does having more subs make you feel powerful, Mike? Um, I, I like it. I like seeing all those smiling ducks looking back at me. Oh. It means we're doing good. Apparently they had another number in here, which was a red herring for that. 
Oh, that wouldn't have worked, uh. Yeah, because uh, I, I went with the first number that I saw. Sometimes <laughs> takes years to show symptoms that would be put on a medical record. Don't concussions sometimes take years to show symptoms, Zach? Uh, Don't you know about the bird? Bird is the word. Bird, well, bird, 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 bird is the word. I'm going to know about the bird. Well, everybody knows that the bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird no is the word. Wait. Pedro the Eagle. Bird, bird, bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird is the word. You sent him off. How fun was the fetus hallway, Zach? <laughs> I remember you were missing PT last time. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was it was okay. I, I like that. I like that name for it. I one of Love the things I'm legitimately guys. thank you. One of the things I'm legitimately worried about is that I I want to play PT very badly, but I'm also kind of worried that it's been like so hyped up as being this like Pedro? super being this super scary game that I'm I'm worried it won't live up to my expectations. Pedro the Eagle or Poncho. Everything's playing Poncho today. Well, thank you for those three gifted subs, Scarecrow VT. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. The fetus yeah. hallway, you mean the birthing canal? <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah, I kind of worry that it just like won't live up to what I expect it to be if I if I ever did play that game. Scare Apparently, there's an item somewhere yeah. in here. But Scarecrow is asking, is. what is PT? Apparently, Scarecrow does not know what PT is. PT was the like demo game for Silent Hills. Which never came out. Silent Hills was a Silent Hill game that was going to be directed uh, by Hideo Kojima, right? Yes. It was the game that was going to be. It was a Silent Hill game directed by Hideo Kojima, and PT was the demo game. And then Konami uh, collapsed in on itself and decided they wanted to make fucking pachinko machines. Um, and when that happened, they removed PT from the market. You can't buy it anymore. Even if you did own it and you removed it from your PlayStation, you can never download it again. Yeah, so, so actually, if you have a PlayStation 3 with PT still installed on it... I think it, it's can, 4. Oh, if you have... I think it's 3, actually. Maybe it's 4. If you have that PlayStation with the game still installed on it, I think it's actually worth more than regular PlayStation. It's yeah, kinda, it's worth quite a bit. It's um, a game you can't download anymore. It's become this kind of, like, mythical game, kind of like, uh... uh Duke Nukem Forever. No, I mean, yeah, but no. No. Um, it's just kind of become this mythical game that nobody can actually play because it it's like almost impossible to find anymore. Yeah. So it's worth the same amount as a farmer's. Ooh, like seven hundred. Is it worth? Is it really worth like twenty grand? Is that how much a farmer's is worth? Twenty grand? Yeah, they're not cheap. Well, I wish I had saved my PlayStation. Well. Even if I had saved my PlayStation 3, it wouldn't have worked anymore. My PlayStation 3 kept on dying on me. I had to keep on resoldering well, it. I'm pretty sure it's a PS4 game. I, I, I want to say it's a PlayStation 3 game, but maybe you're right. It's PlayStation 4. I don't know. Roughly, I do. Roughly, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. It's super pretty pricey. Pretty, pretty pricey. I mean, are those just prices people are charging, or are those prices that people are actually paying? Mm, good question. Because that's that people might be charging 20, you know, like... 25 grand for a car or for a PlayStation with PT on it, but both both people buying and selling for that price. Mm, I wouldn't I don't care how good that game is. I would not pay that much money for it. Let's not talk about the remastered Metal Gear Solid 3 cutscene. Should cut I scenes. invest all my money into Dogecoin? No, no. I mean, yes, piss your money away, whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, it, I'm, technically, it is your money and you can do whatever with it, do with it, whatever you please. But I think investing in Dogecoin is a bad idea. Yeah. I think anything involving the stock market is a bad idea because it's just how rich people spend money. It's not the stock market, though. It's a currency that's not controlled by the federal government. It's different than... It's it's a little different than that. Little oh, it's, I need a six-winged key. Oh. Goodness. All right, well. Can't go there. I've heard some people comparing Dogecoin to a pyramid scheme, and it's a little nuanced and it's different. So I, I, I don't know if I want to get tied up with that. I spent time looking into like how cryptocurrencies work, and I watch so many freaking videos on cryptocurrencies, and read so many different things on cryptocurrencies, and I, you still don't understand it. I don't think anybody that even works with cryptocurrencies understand how cryptocurrencies work. <laughs> it's very convoluted. Yeah. Oh, you know what? 
Okay, you can put some of these in there, all right. I can put two of them in right now. Right. What the, the hell? What the hell what was the that? Hell? <laughs> Ethan had the exact same response. Yeah. These things that aren't taking up room in your inventory, you put your baby in there. Yeah, we'll put these parts in here. And then put that one in there. That lock got released now. Yeah, I think cryptos are just next level lying. Oh, wasn't there a... So now, where are we going? That's just sellable. Photo of a strange bird. We have to deal with that? I didn't even see you pick that up. Blue bird out in the tree there. Okay. Do you have to shoot that blue bird? Maybe. I'm getting off. Got work in the morning. Can't wait to watch this later. Thank you, meme hogger 96. 95, 95. Don't have too much fun at work. Or do you know what I mean? So where is that bird gonna be? Uh, wouldn't it be? Let's look at that photo again. Look at that item again. Try and see if we can pinpoint some landmarks inside of it. So we can try and identify where that bird is hiding. Well, that... I know it's in this area. Looking down on, what is, oh, okay. So it should be up. Oh, there it is, I see I it. Long. Do you see, oh, there it is, yeah. That was probably incredibly rude. Juicy game. Okay. There you go. You can probably make one of those fancy that's meals not a, now. That's not a key item though. No, it is not. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I just killed a bird for no reason. Hey, not for no reason. You're going to get a health increase. No, that. that's stupid. <laughs> the game made me kill a bird for no reason. Zero out of ten. Worst game ever. Literally unplayable. Zach, I ate ten chicken nuggets earlier. That's a chicken. Mm. That's fine. <laughs> that was a rare bird. Thoughts on Vogue returning. What is Vogue? V-O-G. Well, what is V-O-G? I have no lose. idea. I hate my job. I think Securing I'd rather die in a horrific fucking car than crash anything. than go to work anything, tomorrow, Lamar. Boy, sounds like you probably should find a different job. That's how I feel all the time. Thank you, Danik Dova, for subbing for five months. Thank you very much. All right, so I need four poultry, three meat. Vault of Glass is what VOG stands for. I don't oh, know Vault of Glass? I haven't played Destiny 2 I in so hunt. long. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> I basically have given up on Destiny 2. And honestly, it's probably for the best. The game was eaten into your life for a little bit there. I... I just... I feel like I get nothing out wait, wait, of Destiny 2 anymore. Ingredient. So... It, Destiny 2 started to feel less like... Uh, you've described it as being more like a job at that point, more of a slog. Well, a they, they transitioned to games as service, and mm -hmm. it's less games as service and more games as this is your second job now. Yep. So I just, I was not enjoying playing it anymore. Mm hmm. I felt like every single day I had to, what the hell is this disgusting shit? It's more moss, that's all. More gross Ugh. moss. It's algae. A slimy, breakable substance, if you. Uh, maybe grenade? I, I guess, yeah, we'll try a freaking 40 millimeter. Ah, but it's not in your quick select, is it? No. Oh, we're out of ammo for it. Oh, God. Hmm. No, I have ammo. Oh, do you? Is that, is that loaded? That's all. Typos are a scam that sounds hey. like a Captain Planet plot. Rich people make machine that makes money by generating pollution. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're you're not wrong. That's pretty much how I feel about all cryptos. And make it more difficult for people to buy cars because all the microprocessors are being used for cryptocurrency. Oh, I bet I could break this too. Yeah, maybe. If only you hadn't used so many of those grades on that werewolf. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but nothing we can do about it now. No backseas. Ah, uh, okay. Well, at least we can go up there now. Man, if you didn't have any grades, you'd be kind of screwed at this point, wouldn't you? What if you do? What if you did waste all your grenades? Would you just be stuck here? I don't know. There might actually be like a grenade laying on the ground in there. But even if there is, and you waste that one, then what? You're stuck forever. Oh wait, oh, more pigs. Oink oink. Yep. And down they go. You can knife those. I don't know. Last time we got near a pig, they started squealing pretty bad. I might actually you have enough meat. You can knife them, Dingus. Eh, you can, or you can just shoot them in the head. Can't use that here. 
All right, let's go back. All right. Gates open, unlocked. You can knife the goo. You can knife the goo. Oh. oh. Well, now I know. I see. And that was a waste of ammunition. Can I knife this goop? Dingus. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> wow. Maybe blowing it up with a grenade launcher would have just been faster, huh? All right, never mind. I can't knife that one. No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Gonna go back and donate the stuff. So that I can do the thing. Free up your inventory space. Gonna go back, yes. And free up inventory space. I, I'm not been paying attention too much. Do you know where you're going for the next boss area? Uh, that's where I'm going for the next boss area. Oh, okay. Gonna go back, donate stuff. Hey, Duke. Gonna that's sell some wish. things and buy some things. The Duke's kitchen will make more food. Yeah, you go, you got juicy game. You can put that in the tochiri the pude. I already put the, the juicy game in there. Oh, okay. Now you just gotta find four more chickens yet. to kill. Four more chickens. No, 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 no launcher recipe? All right, that's disappointing, because we actually- I saw actually, you eyeing that one. That's ammo we'd actually like to buy, but all right. Have either of us ever tried a D&D &D or any type of tabletop game? Have a wonderful adventure. Yes. Yes, Zach was in his for quite some time. I have not, though. No. Um, I can make more grenade ammo, by the way. Alrighty then. See. Food is life. Congratulations. Yes. With this, you'll not worry about. Me. Please come again. All right. Okay. Save. Thanks. All right. Do you want to try for one more? Um, I think that's probably a good spot to good stop. Time. Yeah, people are starting to get off now because they got school and work in the morning, and we've been going for three and a half hours. School is dumb. Don't go to school. Yeah, drop out. Become Dro a vagrant. Drop out. Just refuse to engage in society anymore. Live in a back alley. Suck dick for caps. Destroy capitalism. There you go. Commit terrorist acts of violence. I'm not. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> not, not saying that. All right. Well, of course there's literally a nude mod for Lady D Dimitriask and her daughters. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? That was her entire draw. It was her appeal. What is a more expensive hobby? Firearms collecting or collecting Warhammer armies? Uh, firearms collecting, and then the one that's even more expensive than that is cars. Magic the Gathering. No, cars. Oh, okay. Cars are more expensive. I see. I see. You should go out and travel. Oh, wait, you can't. Pandemic. Found also, you no guys money. On YouTube and loved your gun rants. Keep up the fun videos. We'll do. Thank you. We will do our best. Wow, the resolution of this gun model looks terrible. At Thanks this close. for the entertainment. Look forward to next time. Thanks, scholarly butt licker. <laughs> Goodness, what a name. Play Fallout 3 with Zach. Maybe one day. We're, we're, do, we're too busy playing all the Fallout New Vegas stuffs. And also Fallout 4 stuffs, and also eventually maybe Fallout 76 stuffs. So there's a lot of stuffs. There's many, many stuffs. Thanks for streaming. Well, thank you for coming by, Delta 3. Thank you very much. <clears throat> knife! That's a knife. You're looking at all these weapons. And yeah, I'm just looking at the guns. Yeah. Looking at the F2. Now, how do they put that cheek well metal piece on there without any screws? It snap on? I don't know. If it is, then it would just snap off, wouldn't it? I don't know. I do find it interesting that the heat shield on the FR F2 bolt action, or the F2 bolt action rifle has iron sights built into it. Oh, yeah, I guess it does or right like there. Really close range shooting, or if your optic is completely gone. Yeah, if it breaks or something. Yeah. yeah. Very still useful. All right. It, so you peer underneath the scope at the light. At the... Uh, I think you basically just have to remove the scope, but oh. it does have like a. It's got like a weird quick detach mechanism. So. I see. Okay. Okay. You literally just came from the YouTube VOD. Well, good luck watching the next one, because we're going to be done right now. <laughs> outer Worlds stuff? Nah, I think we're done with the Outer Worlds. Yeah, I'm not really into that game. Zach wasn't into it, and I beat it on stream already. It was all right. Yeah. It wasn't... I don't know. It, I, it felt, like, way too overhyped to me. Oh, I see. You got burned out on the hype. For everybody that was like, everybody was like, oh my god, it's gonna be the next fall of New Vegas. It's gonna be the next fall of New Vegas. And then it came out and it was like, not at all like fall of New Vegas. 
It had some decent skill checks. It made some improvements on the systems, but... Yeah, but it was like... The, you had two options. For what, major choices? Pretty much, yeah. I, I don't think you can criticize that because you didn't get that far into the game and see all the other different options, but yeah. No, I made it, I made it like decently far on my own. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, like I, I'm playing at home or something? Yeah. All right. It, 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 I don't know. It just felt it felt not great, and then it's like, oh, what was her? What was the girl's name? The companion. Yeah, the one companion, not the medic lady. Not the, the medic one. lady. The, uh, the one that was really good at fixing stuff. Yeah, you're talking about the asexual female companion. You get right in the beginning. Yeah. What was her name? I'm sure somebody knows it, but uh, I don't yeah. know. I got kind of bored Jezebel. With yeah. I got kind of bored with just flying all over the galaxy to to get her not laid. <laughs> I got bored flying all over the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just because they're not having sex doesn't mean her romantic interests aren't important, Zach. I know, but I got tired of just being like, I'm, I'm gonna- I'm tired of being her chauffeur. You know, the one thing, I, I will say the one thing that, um, Oh yes, Pavarotti. <laughs> Pavarotti. The one thing that Fallout 4 actually got right. Honestly, Outer Worlds shows what would happen if they make another Fallout. It's why I don't like the idea of them making another Fallout. The one thing that I think Fallout 4 got right mm -hmm. is having romanceable companions in it. Oh yeah, you think because that's Because people good? people want to do that. That's one of the reasons that um uh, your brain fart here. Why Piper is so popular? That's one of the reasons Mass Effect was so popular because they had so many. They had a bunch of different romanceable companions, and it's it's at the end of the day, video games are just a are like a fantasy wish fulfillment. Uh huh. And people want to have romanceable companions. They want to have their waifu or husbando that they can romance. <laughs> and by not having them at all in any way, shape, or form in Outer Worlds, I think they did themselves a massive disservice. Maybe, yeah. I don't think that's going to be the kneecapper on that game. I think there are just some people... No, that... it wasn't the kneecapper, but that was, like, one of the things that I think was a problem with it. I don't know. It might be a minor complaint for that one. Um, I still think Obsidian can make a good Outer Worlds... Uh, they could make a good Fallout game. I think a lot of people didn't like the Outer Worlds for the aesthetic. It was a very depressing parody. It was like a cautionary parody against hyper-capitalism. Well, that was that was my problem with the end of the game, was the end of the game was basically either you go hyper-capitalism or you go anti-hyper-capitalism. And it's like there, there was no in-between anywhere in there. There was no middle ground. It was just either hyper-capitalism, not hyper-capitalism. Pick one. Or anarchy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes choices aren't easy. Yeah. You like choices Outer Worlds a whole lot. You were surprised, to be, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad game. I played it all the way through. It had some good moments, but I th I'd say it didn't actually have that many memorable moments. I honestly, I can't even remember half the. Ca we can't even remember Parvati's name. There's Parvati. There's the priest guy. Uh, there's, there's a robot like, you get later. There's a robot. There's like the medic lady whose name I can't remember. Um. There was the AI on the ship, which is kind of funny. It has a couple of fun. I like funny the ones. AI on the ship. Yeah, she was she was fun. They didn't do a whole lot with her, but she was fun. She had some funny snarky comments. Um, you're, I like how your companions would comment on what you're doing at the time. They had a lot of environmental barks. That was nice. There were skill checks all over the place, and it wasn't all heavily dependent on speech, so that was good. I'm not saying it was a bad game. I just couldn't really get into it. That's fair. Now the stream has just turned into us just talking about things. Eh, that's what people enjoy. You think the voice acting felt flat and dull? I think the whole game had that tone. It was kind of a flat and dull world. New Vegas is a cowboy theme. Yeehaw! Yeah, yeah, fancy Vegas, gambling, you know? That was a fun theme. Outer Worlds is depressing, outer space, everything is terrible. And I mean, Bloodborne is depressing as hell, though, but I really like that game. Yeah. The Dark Souls is depressing as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that game, though. Mm hmm. But I think you play Dark Souls for the combat, not so much for the aesthetic. No, it's for the it's for the aesthetic. Yeah, all right, all right. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's difficult for us to pin down exactly why we liked or didn't like a thing. Yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't really super into it. Yeah. 
admit, there just wasn't anything that it's really that memorable that I can remember about it. Parvati was fun. She had a fun companion quest, but I think that's that's that might actually be the thing that Bethesda that Bethesda does that the Obsidian neglects and is is um, punished for is that Bethesda actually includes set pieces like crazy moments like the uh, Optimus Prime, the you know robot in Fallout Three, things like that. Things that are very memorable. Fallout 4 had a lot of really cool set pieces in it. The story was not great. Exactly, but... The like, the whole thing with, with uh, Pikmin was really cool. There's so many really cool moments in Fallout 4, but the story is just mediocre and... Mm -hmm. not Like, I don't... I don't... I don't care. But it, they were... Yeah, but there were some gr dramatic moments, like um, you find that pirate ship with the robots on it that was crashed. That was pretty amazing. That was really cool, but, like, I don't care about Sean. Yeah, no. I don't. I just don't give a shit. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, yeah, Fallout 3, Fallout 4 had great set pieces like that pirate ship going to Diamond City, which is a crazy settlement location. You think about the settlement locations, Fallout 3. You have that town made out of scrap, built around a bomb, mm -hmm. and then you have um, all, uh, all those crazy places too, uh, like the, the the Rivet City was built on a freaking the, the town that's inhabited entirely by kids. And as yeah. soon as they get over a certain age, they kick them out. Yeah. That was really cool. But there were like some grandiose locations and New Vegas for all its great stuff. It had like the strip and that was. Yeah, th there's really not that many like super cool, but the the story in Fallout New Vegas is awesome. Yeah. But the game, uh, the, the locations are kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think you can get away with having like, you know, even if your story isn't that enticing, if you got some good set pieces, some memorable set pieces, that'll work. Uh, match, is it Match Cali? Match Cal? What? They said Fallout didn't really want you to play your own character, they wanted you to play the character they wrote the story around, which is completely true. Yeah, that's true. Fallout New Vegas was a game where they didn't want you, they wanted you to play the character you created. Yeah, you were a blank slate. Fallout 4 could have done better on that. So, I completely agree with what he said, yeah. Yeah. But my original point was just how there were some grandiose moments in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 that kind of make up for some of its shortcomings, and the Outer Worlds didn't really have anything like that. They didn't have any... Like, think about some of the most grandiose moments that happened in video games, like the end of Portal 2. You're never going to forget that. Yeah. Not to spoil that for anybody, but that, that was a crazy ending of that game. And, like, there's some awesome moments from other video games, and I can't really point to anything that happened to me in Outer Worlds that made me go, Whoa, that was amazing! It was it was a competent game. It was okay. I'd play it if I had nothing else to do, but... Yeah. Competition these days is tough. You can't just be a really good, well-made game. You have to really be eye-grabbing and attention. You have yet. to do a lot of stuff right. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame, because that, that could tell they put a lot of effort into that game. Good neighbor is nice, but real, yeah, yeah. The bomber flying in New Vegas was pretty incredible for what it was. Bomber flying? You mean bomber the, flying over. You mean at the end of the game? Uh, have you guys played the original Fallout 1 and 2? Mike that, has, I haven't. Yeah, I played them on the channel, so if you want to watch my playthrough, my blind playthrough of those first two games, they're on the channel. Your biggest pet peeve with Fallout 4 was almost all the settlements were two people in a shack, nothing but... I hate settlement building. Yeah. I, I, I completely ignore that anytime I play through the game. Mm -hmm. It's good in concept, but you're right. Having all these small little settlements, like these small farms with three or four people on them, not all that, uh, not all that great, not all that realistic either for that matter. Give All your, right. Give well, your brother, the Aluka Akula, your opinion on the M1911. We already given Zach's already given his opinion on the M1911. It's a competently made handgun. It's incredibly well made. It's the handgun upon which all other modern handguns are based now. Um, it works very well. It does have its flaws, but that's because it is an over 100 year old design. So, mm -hmm. anyone that says that the 1911 is the most perfect handgun ever has obviously never fired a Glock. <laughs> Preston Garvey still haunts me I'm not to this saying day. that the Glock is the most perfect handgun ever made, but it's a huge improvement. I mean, I love the 1911. I own two of them, but mm. it doesn't make it the best handgun ever made. Yeah. All right, we're going to wrap things up now, I guess. Preston could have been a great character, but yeah, they really memed the hell out of him by making him an annoying quest giver. That's true. 
By the way, Meg, I've got word that another settlement needs your help. Right, yeah, there's mods to shut him up about that. Unfortunately, even if you turn that mod on, make pressing Garvey shut up about quest building, he's still a very boring character. Yeah, then he just doesn't do anything. It's like giving it, he's, he's too Mickey Mouse, you know? He's just too generically good. Yeah. No, you gotta have some personality flaws. Like, when I say Mickey Mouse, you think Mickey Mouse, generally by Disney, it's like, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> He's so perfect that they don't even do anything crazy with him. But there were some crazy Mickey Mouse shorts yeah. on YouTube. They have him do all these crazy expressions, and the his face is getting hit into a those frying like, pan. Yeah, those like recent Mickey Mouse shorts are very good. Yeah, and they and they make Goofy kind of gross and oh, they made it. They, there's like one where they made him a zombie, and he's just absolutely disgusting. Body parts are falling off. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and, and Mickey. There's like one. I remember one scene at the end of him. One of the Mickey shorts for Mickey and me are just, they're finally in love, ha ha! Instead of them smiling and laughing, they're all short like, ha ha ha! Just being gross together. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, we're gonna call it here, everybody. We're gonna, it's about four hours. Thank you all for joining us in this stream. We'll have to do it again sometime, because we have to beat this game now, Zach. We're too invested into it. I mean, eventually we'll beat it. I guess you don't have to like rush to beat it or anything, but you yeah. can't you can't play it at home until you've beaten the game here, you know? You can only play up to what you've gotten done here. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe sometime in the future we'll do it again. Penis. Penis! Beepus. Maybe sometime this weekend. Well, maybe not I, my weekend is too full now. Definitely yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, Zach's weekend is full too. Yeah. Yeah. So uh maybe sometime later in the month we'll finish it. But thank you yeah. all. Or next week or something. Yeah, next week, next month, whatever. Game in total is like 8 to 12 hours. Well, in that case, we're already two-thirds of the way through it. Thank you, Hawk on a Light Post, for the sub. Hawk on a Light Post. Two bits. <laughs> all right, all right. I need to go to bed, because even though I don't got to work tomorrow in the morning, I still have some work to do on my computer. I always have to work. Oh, you always do. Fun stuff. Have fun storming the castle. Oh, yes. Good night, guys. Good night, Blaze Fireheart. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming by for the stream. Yes, there's a lot of dark times. We brighten your day whenever you want to, as long as it coincides with when we're doing things. Yes, exactly. Pedro and Pancho oh. Adventures. Pancho Adventures, indeed. Pedro right. and Pancho Adventures. All right, what do we got here? Uh, there you go. Just a the other weapon. A lovely weapon, sir, as you just shoot at things. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Ah, oh, didn't do it. Doesn't work. Bummer. Do be careful not to waste your ammunition. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, let's get that foot. Shoot him with a grenade launcher. Can I zoom in with this weapon? Let me see. I can! Let me see that foot. Oh. No. Let me see that gross foot. Oh. All right, fine. You can throw bombs at him? Oh! Wait, we don't have any bombs at the moment. All right, next time, I guess. Next time. Oh, wait, we got this. Mike, you don't know how to use that. He doesn't care. He is unfazed. Be careful not to waste your ammunition. That foot needs amputation. I'm on it. He does. He doesn't care. He's unimpressed. That foot's gotta come off. What if I get close to me? You like that? A lovely weapon, sir. Finally, the trap <laughs> scratched my ass. I haven't felt the sensation back there in decades. He's got big old cankles. All right, all right. I guess we're done then. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Take care, unless you're on the other side of the world, which case, good morning, everybody. Good morning in Australia. <laughs> yes, for our four Australian people here. Good night. Hold up, Zach, are you aware of PEMDAS? PEMDAS? I don't know. You know what PEMDAS are, Zach? It's a math thing. 
Um, sounds like someone just mispronounced pandas. No, it's uh, parentheses, exponentials, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Oh, okay. That's what pandas is. There you go. He's got it. The math thing. The yep. math thing. All right. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you for those good donations. Thank you for all those gifted subs, including yours, Zero. Thank you very much. Yep, and a scream. And a scream. Good night, everybody. Have a lovely night. Want to join the Pen15 Club? No. No. Not, I have to join Pen Clubs 1 through 14 first. Bye!